hello, 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 hello! Hello, everyone! Welcome, 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 welcome back to a brand new live stream today here on Cold Day Pizza. I hope you guys are doing freaking amazing. How are y'all? You good? You had a good weekend? Woo! Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen! Let me see the ones inside the jam right now. If you can hear me, if you can see me, if we're, we're, we're ready and rocking, that's what I want to know. But, I hope you had a freaking good weekend, man. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, boom. Good times, good times. And this guy is feeling good. Feeling really, really good. Um, we had a great weekend, right? Got a great weekend. Yesterday was even better. Ow! And then, uh, and then and dude, we're, today started afresh. We're ready to rock and roll. Freaking, uh, been on a big run this morning. Been on a big walk this morning. And, uh,. Got together a load of stuff that we're going to be doing over the course of the next few months. Um, so, as you guys know, or as the title should suggest right now, this is my very last Super Easter Egg stream, okay? For a while. I don't know how long, but uh, we've been stuck in kind of the same loop doing Super Eggs for a while. And I thought, you know what, we want to mix it up. We want to change it. And I don't want to do this. It's really difficult to do something that takes like five hours every single day. So, we're going to mix it up. This is our final one, Black Ops 1. It's my most loved zombies at the minute. That's why I kind of wanted to focus on this and do this today. Um, and then we will be focusing map by map, taking our time with it, and probably doing one map per week, maybe, and learning the entire Easter egg speedrun of that map. Because you got to remember, I know maps very, very well, and a lot of my speedruns are still pretty good, but there's been so much advances over the years in speedruns that I don't know some of the stuff, right? So we're going to start things off. This week, I've left the poll inside the chat. I don't really know why the poll's not working. I don't know. Maybe, is the poll working? I don't know. Anyway, so there's a there's a poll. There's a poll, right? Um, and, and, and hopefully, it will come live at some point. It, for me, it's just non-stop. But this week, I either want to start grinding for BO3 Origins or start grinding for BO4 9. You guys can decide what you want me to stream uh, starting from tomorrow, basically. And then we're going to grind it out and at the end of each week after we've mastered a map like literally mastered gone from noob to pro i'll be able to make a video of how to speed run that map and help everyone else learning right so hopefully this is going to be a nice stream slash video series that'll work very well together um so yeah, man, it's gonna be good. Also, 3 1. What? Did anyone say that? I said it. 3 1. Let's go. Uh, Curtis Moore, thank you very much for the 21 month membership inside of the chat right there. I appreciate you a lot, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Say much love, pizza. Hope all is well. Would love to see you learn Origins Easter soon. Yeah, I think so as well, man. I think so as well. Pizza camera is grainy. <laughs> My bit rate's gone to 2,500 randomly overnight. Let me check. There we go. Well, that's fixed. It's so weird, man. I don't understand why the hell. I voted. I said 100%. And then it's reset itself. Oh, no. Maybe I might end the poll. And then uh, let's let's end the poll and do another poll right now. Just let me know that you can hear me and see me right now, though. And uh, we're all good. I don't know how my bit rate. Oh, dude. BO3 Origins is winning. Let me. I'm, I'm just going to do the exact same poll again. I don't know why it wasn't working properly. But it had the results at the end, which is kind of good. Uh, but we'll have it going throughout the whole stream, and then this will be what we start this week. Either 9 or Origins, okay? Origins, I have such a big time saving. It's going to help out in the future when we do a super run again, when we get over to the likes of, uh, you know, doing our Chronicles. So, there you go. Okay. Also, I'm weird. The bit right reset so It's fine. We're all good now, though, baby. And I hope you guys freaking had an amazing, amazing time, man. Amazing, amazing time. We should be going. Wait, what the hell's happening now? Skip frames, 25% over the last minute. Yeah, that all that makes sense. Uh, yeah, no idea. Just let me know. We're all good? We all good? Working fine now? Camera is stuttering though. What the fuck? <laughs> let me know if we're okay. Anyway, it should be a nice series that we're going to be doing there. Kind of very choppy. What the hell is going on? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see, let me see, let me see, see, see. 100% of my CPU is being used, and I don't know where the hell it's being used from. The fuck? Uh, OBS 64. This isn't even OBS 64, this is Streamlabs OBS. Am I, if I turn this off, is it gonna stop the stream? I don't want it to stop the stream. This is so weird, man. Is it bad? I'm, I'm trying to fix it, don't worry. 
My CPU's just being rinsed. I don't understand how. Right, let me let me give me one sec, one sec, one sec. Okay, that that'll be fixed now. That's so weird. All the settings have reverted back to like the base settings, which meant that I'm I'm doing sixteen thousand. Like we were, it was set to two thousand five hundred bitrate. That was the first problem. Then I put it to sixteen thousand, like we were supposed to do, but it because it's reverted, it reverted back to thingy. It was using OBS as the encoder instead of using my graphics card as the encoder. So now. Now we're good. Now the graphics card is being used as the encoder, and we should be absolutely rocking right now with Foley. I don't know. It's so dumb, dude. Uh, but anyway, there you go. Surely it should instantly jump to the thing that's the most powerfulest. I don't know. I, we're all good. We're all good. Anyway, let's freaking do this thing, man. I am actually very, very excited about this. This is my final stream where we're going to be doing super eggs for a while, and this is my fa uh, my favorite super egg. My very favorite thing. I have the world record in this, so... You know, we're all good. Why is it my last? Because I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to change up what we're doing here. And I'm ready to do some extra things because I'm stuck in a rut. Here, here's the problem. I've been doing the same thing for ages. Like just doing super runs over and over and over again. And it's great. And I love getting my time down. But I've got to the point where I can't actually get better without practicing. Uh, so we want to focus on singular maps and make speedrun guides after we've learned and mastered this particular map. And... Um, and all I'm seeing everywhere is everything going down, so I need to do stuff to go up. The analytics are all going down. People un unsubbing, people be stopping becoming a member. Just everything is going down, which means my revenue is going down, which means my life is going down. So I need to do everything to go back up again. It's pretty simple, really. You see something bad happening, you fix it. And that's basically what I'm doing right now. So we're mixing it up. We're going to do different things. I'm still going to be streaming every single day. It's just this is my last super egg stream. That makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. There you go. Mr. Z! Let's go! With a two-month membership inside of the chat right now, say, let's go, feeds Two months already, and looking forward to many more. Did you sort out the leak the other day? I, it, it, it kind of. It was the air conditioning unit, man. It just started leaking out the air conditioning unit, and it's just stopped doing it. So I, I don't really know. I've got it rocking now, and it's not leaking. But it collected, like, a... Like a decent amount of water in this bucket. I don't know. I, it, we're all good, though. It's not. A, it wasn't a real leak, luckily. I thought like maybe a, a, a pipe had just like burst or something. I don't know. Anyway, I feel freaking great right now. In terms of everything, I feel on track. My mind's in a good place. I've figured out what we're gonna do. And like I said, woke up this morning, dropped the kids off at nursery, went straight for a run. It was a good run. It was a really good run. I've not been on a run for a good few months. S straight, straight off the bat take to it like a bloody duck on water, man. Duck on water. Are we, are we duplicate? What the hell's going on with this? Why is that looking weird? Why is that looking odd? Maybe it's that. There we go. That's fixed. Yeah, I took to it back again like a duck on water, man. Went for a nice 5k run and I was starting to feel like crap like after about a kilometer of running. I'm like, why do I feel so bad? And I look at my watch, which is, I've left upstairs brilliantly. Uh, but I look at my watch, dude, it's because I'm averaging like my, my what my like PB pace is. And I'm like, dude, I didn't realize I was going so fast. It's because, you know, with, with not running for a few months, you kind of like, I forgot my rhythm really. Uh, or in some respects, I remembered my rhythm. So I was going the normal pace that I typically go from three months ago. I'm like, I'm dying, dude. So I just dropped the, back the pace a little bit and just aimed to, you know, first run back after a few months, just aimed to get like a 30 minute 5k and then did 29 minutes and I'm pretty happy with that. So, and then I had a 5k walk because so I just ran in a straight line, which was nice because I knew that I wanted to have a walk afterwards as well. So I've done 10 kilometers today, five walking, five running and uh, yeah, dude, you're freaking great. Look, good, good stuff, dude. So yeah, we're gonna focus on singular maps. So uh, BO3 Origins or BO49 is what I wanna start working on first. They are maps that, with BO3 Origins, my time on there is about 40 minutes slower than the world record, which is insane. That amount of time possible to save is just unreal. So I wanna focus on that. Uh, and then nine on BO4, my, my, uh, my PB on that map is roughly 15 minutes slower than the world record. So once again, there's huge time saves that I'm clearly not aware of that I have no idea about. So we're going to focus on those and then we're going to work on individual maps, be able to make videos 
uh, at the end of each week after we've mastered a map. So you guys and other people in the community that are interested in getting through those maps nice and fast can do those and follow those guides and get that done. And then, also on top of that, I might be able to make some updated Easter egg guides for some of those maps as well. And then when we finally do get back to doing super runs again, we're just going to smash every single time because all of our times are then ridiculously better because we've learned all the maps, right? So there you go. That's, that's basically the rundown right there. And I think it's a great idea. Let me know if you think it's a great idea as well. Uh, but I, I really do, and I think it's going to be very, very, very beneficial to everything. Help the channel get back to growing where we should be and, uh, yeah, have a lot of fun. But, uh, 3-1, 3-1, 3-1, 3-1. If you don't know, you, 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 you don't need to know, to be honest. Just 3-1. Simple as that. Manchester's blue. Yeah, I've said it. Don't need to say it. Didn't used to be. That's fair enough. But, you know, it is now and it will be for a long time. So, good game, dude. GG. GG. Okay, let's freaking go, dude. Right, I'm gonna exit this area in a second. We need Gersh device and and or Reagan or Thundergun. You don't need both on BO1, which is lovely. But uh, but yeah, dude, we're gonna get out of here in a second. I think there's still a zombie left though. Yeah, there is. This is really slow. Actually, it's not that slow. This is pretty good. So we're, we'll only be about five seconds slower than where I would want to be anyway. So, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go make our way out of here right now. Woo! Big brain idea. I know! How good does it sound, man? It's freaking amazing. So let's go, dude. Also, if you haven't done already, please do smash that like button. I massively, massively appreciate if you do that. Little Timmy as well. Welcome back, man. Thank you very much for uh, following over on Twitch. Whoop. Let's not read chat while I'm trying to go around corners right there as well. Is it David's birthday inside of the chat? David! Happy birthday, brother. Good to see you inside of the chat right now. Happy birthday. And I hope you have a freaking good one, dude. We have an amazing one. Off we go. The FN foul. One of my absolute fave weapons. Don't know why, man. I feel like I, I, I always had really fun memories of the FM file. And I always wanted to keep it whenever I was playing BO1 or BO2. I always wanted to pack punch it. But I don't know if that's just because I wanted to be different. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just because I didn't want to rock around with an LMG or rock around with a Reagan. I just wanted to have, be, have a different type of game. And I always have really fun memories of the FM file. That is a great. I'm going to get rid of it now, though. Great set up in terms of point building. Still not got anything that we need. Raygun and Gersh device are needed. I'll take the Thundergun as well, whatever. But Raygun or Thundergun and a cheeky Gershy Gersh, dude. I have no idea where final zombies. I feel like whenever you come up here for first round, there's one zombie. Yeah, one zombie there. Weird. Oh, actually, there might be another one. There could be another one. I have no idea. Oh, this is awkward. This is awkward. Um. I tell you what, we'll have the one go on the mystery box, and then we'll see where we go from there, dude. The foul is decent. I like it. I'm a big fan of the FM foul, bro. Really, really good. But what a freaking, uh, what a freaking weekend, man! It's been, a, it's been a good weekend. Very good weekend, especially yesterday. Yesterday was great. Really good. <laughs> really sad, but it's all about excited for future holdings. The title's a little bit upsetting, just because you know, if I get into a rhythm of things and I, I. You know, if I know I've been rocking these way too long and doing the same thing for far too long, it also means that you guys are also either noticing that or either B, loving that. And it means that, you know, it is a little bit upsetting for some people that we're not going to be doing super runs every single day, but I'm still going to be streaming on here every single day doing different zombie maps, right? It's it's just learning, taking the time to learn and, and get back to being... get back to being on the top flight of zombie creators. Well... I would say in terms of zombie creators, I am top flight. But in terms of zombie players, you know, I used to be there. I used to be up there, man. And, uh, and I've let it, I've let it, let it go downhill. And I've, I've stuck to my own, my old stuff that I was doing. And you know, it's, it's great. But I want to be back there, man. I want to go into Gulf War knowing that I'm, I'm one of the best of the best again. And you get back to that point. So we'll see, we'll see. But I, I need to practice a lot of maps, master a lot of maps, and you guys are going to come on that ride with me and that journey with me to master those maps, and then hopefully put out decent Easter egg guides and Easter egg uh, speedrun guides as well on how to get the maps done really fast and good. So, there you go. It's Bailey's birthday? What? Dude, I'm telling you what, I must hear that it's Bailey's birthday inside of the chat roughly once a month. The dude is born every single month. It's It's unreal. But you know what? Happy birthday, Bailey. <laughs> freaking good one. <laughs> what a legend, man. Absolute legend. It's so weird. Maybe use the Luna Lander Man on BO1. All the zombies despawn. I think it's obviously because they think that you're going to go straight over to spawn. But then you end up with absolutely nothing. 
But I guess we could take advantage of this by going and making our way over here. Let's go, dude. We hear it every day. Yeah, I know. It feels like we hear it every single day, man. Absolutely. Thank you very much for 80 plus likes in Zadio. I appreciate y'all. You haven't done already. Please keep on uh, clicking that like button. You know, I appreciate that. And uh, hopefully... Dude, I've got a really good feeling. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm just in a really good mood or I genuinely have a good feeling that we're going to perform really well today on this. But I'm in a great ass mood. Like a really, really, really good mood. Um, thought that's what we're talking about. Right, closest mystery box. Um... I'll tell you what, I'll give it a sec. We're going to go over to the other Lunar Lander and hit from that box. But if I can just try and get a few extra points to be able to open the door and do the Lunar Lander, that'd be great. What have we got there? Anything? Carbon set. Now we good. All right, go, go, go. This is where we need to get stuff. I need to make sure that we get Raygun or Thundergun and the Gersh devices right now and we can have a really class time. Really class time. That is not one of those things. <laughs> Oh, it's definitely not one of those things. Oh, neither is that. Jeez. This is rough. Final hit, I guess, because we were a little bit late on that. Anything? Nope. Okay, let's get a reset going on because that was far too late into the game right there. But we'll keep on rocking and rolling. Let's do our CG underscore MOV 90. Boom. Let's freaking go. Boy, with our reset number two to try and get something good for the mystery box. But we got pizza. You're vibing, bro. Good to see you happy and have so much energy. I'm telling you what, I, I think a lot of it comes down to... A lot of it comes down to just having exercise in your routine. It's really odd, man. Like, I, I, since, like, pretty much this year, I kind of haven't done anything throughout 2024 yet. Like, and I'm gone on my first run today. I've had a big walk as well. Like, like I said, I've done about 10,000. Uh, I've done 10, 10K uh, running, well, 5K running, 5K walking today. I did the old-fashioned runner's trick, but you're just running a straight line by accident, and then you realize that you've got to go back five kilometers walking as well. And that, that happened today. But uh, I chose to do that for the first time. You know, I've been stuck with that before where you realize, oh, crap, I've got to walk back five kilometers now, and I don't really want to. But luckily, the weather's really nice, and I chose to do that tonight. I could have a nice, calm walk on the way back and just, you know, have a think about things and figure stuff out. And that's exactly what I did, and I feel freaking great. Once, that, once then it, the, the endorphins start going, you, you're all good then. So, yeah, I feel good. Why is this the last super egg? I'm going to get this all day, aren't I? I'm going to get it all day. So, chat, you can help me out throughout the day if you ever see anyone asking that and I miss the comment. But once again, elaborate. It's, it's, it's a big decision, man. But... Is it? I don't know. It's basically just adding more diversity into the live streams. Uh, I've kind of got to the point in my zombies career where... I'm just lacking a little bit. I'm still, I'm still relatively good, I would say. I'm still very above average, but I'm not where I was. I, I, I think that a lot of people would admit, including myself, that I was up there with the best of the best at one point. And I've kind of, with having a pretty strict regime of streaming and stuff like that, I've kind of not been able to, even though I'm playing, I've not been able to practice and get better. So it's kind of been the same and taking little bits of times off stuff now and again, but. The community has moved way in front of where I was and where my ability was. And it's time to get back to grinding and get back to learning the tips and tricks of specific maps that are new tips and tricks. Get all my times better and start bettering myself and becoming a freaking really, really grade A player again. That's what I want to do. And I know that I can do it, right? So, um... It's not, it's not the fact that I don't have the ability to do it. It's just the fact that I've not, have, I've not done it. <laughs> so now I'm going to freaking do it. Okay. So, uh, so that's why this is my last super Easter egg stream. Because every stream after this is me going to be mainly focusing on a singular map. And getting better at that singular map constantly until I've mastered it. Uh... And we're not, we're not going to sit there for months and months and months and try and grind down a specific time on a map. I'm talking about grinding down a time and getting better at it, learning the new tricks over the course of one week per map maximum. And then after that week, uh, then we can say, okay, we're good. Let's move on to the next one. And then when we finally do return to Super Easter Egg live streams, holy crap, you're going to see like 30 minutes, 40 minutes get taken off these times. So I, th I think it's a good idea. I think it's a really good idea, and I'm excited to uh, to see where it goes. But hopefully you guys will stick around for that journey. Hopefully not all of you are just here to watch five maps back to back to back to back. And are here for 
for the conversation. I'm here to learn as well, and I'll be able to make Easter egg guides for these maps that we're going to relearn and uh, have the updated tips and tricks in those guides. And, you know, basically, once again, benefit the community via doing something for myself, which I think is great, right? I, I, I've done it a lot, and it's always been something that I've enjoyed to do. When I get better, I'm able to make everyone else better as well, and that's the goal here. So, hopefully, hopefully, uh, you're happy with that. You happy with that? I'm, uh, I'm happy with that. If you're happy with it, I'm happy with it, okay? <laughs> I think we're all happy with it, okay? I'm here to look at your face. Cheers, man. I appreciate that. Just, uh, don't be weird and look at my face and touch yourself or anything. That's weird, dude. But, yeah, enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself here. It's going to be a good time, man. I'm telling you. Thank you very much, Perry World, coming in right now with a membership renewal of the highest order, ladies and gentlemen. 35 months. Let's go. Say big love pizza and loads of pizza emojis. Always loads of pizza emojis. Good sir. Loads of pizza emojis. Myth busting, man. Coming back seven months from now. Full four. Myth busting Monday. It's going to be huge. I'm excited. It'll be freaking great. I'm ready. Hell yeah, dude. Still nothing yet, though, dude. Still nothing from this mystery box. Aaron said, hey, pizza. And come on, city. Great win. 3-1. It, it was... It was... It was... It was a rough... It was a rough first half. Uh, we played great. And we should we should have scored in that first half at least a couple of times. But it was rough for me because I was watching the match. I was at the front of the room. The front of the room. That had about... 60 people in right i had my i had my treble winning city shirt on that says treble winners around the badge from last year in gold and i'm in a manchester united pub <laughs> but like my father-in-law and his mates are united fans so you know i'm safe it's all good i'm not gonna get battered by being there but uh and everyone knows them and everyone knows me so it's fine but uh yeah it was a rough when that goal went in i was just sat there like it was a screamer of a goal, to be fair. But then, then we're good. Then we, the first half, yeah. Some guy came up to me in the toilet at half time, and he was like, "Yo, what are you saying? Uh, City gonna win?" I was like, "Yeah, City you're gonna win. It's currently one 0 to United, but City you're gonna win like two one, three one, two one, three one, something like that. United will not score again, and we're, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make sure of that. We need the three points, and it'll happen." And this guy's like, good. I've got 66 to 1 odds on United to be up at half time and City to win the game. <laughs> and the dude, the dude was like, I, put, I only put £2 on it, but that's £2 that's going to turn into 120 quid. And it's like 132 quid or something. And I was like, dude, they're going to do it. So well done already. And then, dude, what do you know? The guy definitely won it because uh, that's what happened. So GG to that guy. I, have, I never spoke to him in my life, but enjoy the £132, good sir. <laughs> What a legend. We still have not got anything from this mystery guys. This is rough. The only reason why I'm carrying on right now is because we got a really nicely timed double points right there. Like a really good time double points. So we've been able to maximize out right here. Is there anyone down here? No? Okay. What should be up top, dude? But yeah, I know. Happy, happy days, man. We needed that three points. It, it to me yesterday wasn't even the, about that. It was a derby. It was, it was just. I would have taken one nil. City. I just needed, I just needed the three points. You know, that's all it was about. Oh, come on. Okay. Wake up, wake up, wake up, let's go. You want me, uh, dude, learning sets will be fun as well. Pete Dog with the first donor of the live stream. Thank you very much for supporting the stream, brother. I appreciate you a lot, Mr. Pete Dog. Do you want to know something awesome? This is this is this is pretty awesome, man. So I have found I didn't realize that when I ordered the top dono revelations cards last year, right? the full revelations posters that we gave to top donators right just the people that were top at the end of the live stream i forgot that i actually didn't just get 50 of them i ordered a hundred of them so i when i was clearing out the room yesterday i'm trying to put all my stuff into crates so it's easier to move and put stuff into storage and stuff um so i actually found 50 of them so we got them so at the minute p dog i could send you one from the stream let me see if i can get them i think i put them on this top shelf um, yeah, there you go. I literally have 50 of these. 
that we'll just give away as our top dono cards of every stream until like on, I guess, starting from now. So, P-Dog with a 115, you freaking get this. <laughs> as long as you're there at the end of the live stream, right? But, yeah, I found another 50 of them, which is freaking great, dude. I, I, did, I thought I only ordered 50, and I even put one of 50 on the cards as well. And, but I found another box of them, so there you go. There you go. Awesome stuff, dude. Am I doing no resets or just reset just longer and be a what? Uh, wait, what? Am I doing no resets or is it resets just longer and be a what? Mm, I don't know what you mean by that, but I'm, I'm, I'm playing Ascension and so we get Ghost Device and Raygun and Thunder Gun or whatever. And then after that, I, I can see a huge PB today. I see a huge PB today. So just bear with me, man. This is going to be good. I'm right on my side. Do I think City will win the league again this year? Obviously, I'm gonna say I hope so, but it's a tough one. I I think I'm relatively happy. I'm relatively happy ruling Arsenal out of the runnings. I just don't think they've got the legs for it. But they're close enough. And when we go to Anfield on Sunday, if we only manage a draw, that means that Arsenal could theoretically overtake overtake us. Uh, but we need the three points on Sunday. It's going to be hard as balls, man. You want to Anfield, right? It's going to be really hard, but we need the three points to win the league. It's it's going to be it's the closest title race that we've seen ever between three teams as well. I think, I think realistically, Arsenal absolutely have a chance. I don't think Villa do. I think Villa are definitely going to get fourth, but... It's a tough one, dude. It's, a, it's mental. Oh, did I, I? Sorry, I didn't. I didn't see your donation. I apologize. Wondering, do you look into the Guitar Hero 3 download? What's up, man? Oh, on Plutonium. I did not. I've not actually had a chance to go on there, but uh, it's pretty sick. The Guitar Hero is on Plutonium, though. It's something that I can only live stream on freaking Twitch, though. Because if you live stream Guitar Hero on YouTube, you instantly get copyrighted and lose all your revenue. So uh, a little bit annoying. But absolutely, we could do some more Guitar Hero 3 on Twitch. Has anyone explored the Plutonium Guitar Hero 3 yet to the extent of, do we know if you can have custom songs and stuff? Is it basically the same as Clone Hero or no? Like, I, I, I'm, I'm very intrigued about it, though. Very intrigued about it. But thank you very much. Ooh, next round for that, I reckon. Oh, name me a better duo! Name me a better duo! The double points are the insta kill. I think, I, I think realistically speaking, I think Manchester City this year win the Champions League, and that's it. I would love, them, I'd love to win the Prem again, obviously. But I think, I think that I think this year we we get the Champions League again. We've then got two. You know, the noisy neighbors across the road only have three. You know what I mean? So I, I think realistically. We, we aim we, we aim for everything, because it'd be silly not to, but I think we all get one trophy this year, and I think it'll be the Champions League, which I'm more than happy with, dude. If you would've told me we got a Champions League when I was a kid, I would've gone bonkers. So, no, I'm, I'm very, very happy about that, if that happens, but I would love to get the Prem again. I'd love it. No, nothing, dude, it'd be freaking amazing to get four Prems in a row. But I think Champions League is very, very important this year. I think. Let's go. Is it true the BO2 had an update recently? Yeah, I think they updated it to make it safer for something like the theater mode and stuff like that. Uh, and I, they've, they've probably done it to learn the mistakes for Gulf War. I, maybe, maybe Gulf War, that means we are going to get theater mode on that game. I will, uh, dude, when you have theater mode, it's so good. I, it, like, theater mode is so freaking amazing. So, I'm hoping we get there tomorrow. Real Madrid's a shout, but I just think they're not having... The, they're not the Real Madrid they were a few seasons ago. They will turn incredible again soon, like they always do. I think the only thing keeping that entire team alive right now is Jude and Vinicius, right? But they, they'll get insane again. Especially if you do end up getting Mbappe this summer. I, I, is, that, is that fully nailed? I feel like that's fully nailed on, right? I don't know. I think it is fully nailed. I think there's more to worry about than Real Madrid in the UCL right now. Shadows of Gorad, what to learn? <clears throat> if if C don't win the league, it'll be at, it'll be Liverpool. But uh, it depends what we do at Anfield on Sunday. I think if we can win at Anfield on Sunday, we'll win the league. But that's a huge ask, man. Anfield's deadly to go to. 
Uh, shadows are good, Crowley. To learn to speedrun, I wanna, I wanna learn Gorod. I've already got Shadows down pretty good, um, but Gorod, Crowley, you know, my PB is 12 minutes off the world record, so there's 12 minutes there somewhere that I can learn some kind of trick and learn to get better at, so. To get my BO3 super time down, absolutely. Gorod Krovi is a huge, huge must on that. So, yeah, oh, oh, I, I prefer Shadows of Evil, but I need to learn Gorod more. Okay. Dude, this is a really, really rough set of uh, mystery box hits. I haven't even got anything yet. Let's fill that around. We have got nothing yet. This is unreal. Unreal. No chance we're gonna have I think it'd be close, dude. I'm gonna be real. Yeah, but people think that City is just like a walk of the park. It's not. Anfield's tough, absolutely, but I think it I I don't think I don't see Liverpool winning. They've got a lot of injuries. Our squad's fully fit apart from we don't have Grealish, so we gotta play Doku, which you know, that's fine. He's 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 a naive player. He's not he's not there yet, but he will be in a couple of years and be incredible. He's still really good. He's just doesn't know when to release the ball at times, stuff like that, but um, it'll either be a draw or we'll win. I, I can't see Liverpool winning it just because of how many injuries they've currently got. And, you know, they're having to play quite a few kids in there. And when I say kids, you know, like, not 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 your, your, your standard start in 11. Um, I think, I th I, but I do think that, it, it, I think the league pretty much comes down to this game on Sundays, to be fair. The entire league. That's good. I'm glad I didn't get the Gersh device right now. Yeah, the whole league comes down to Sunday. I do use controller. Yes, yes, I do. I do. Logan, big shout out to you, man. Good to see you inside of the chat. I play, I play Xbox controller, yeah. Ascension's great for that, though. We had this debate the other week saying, you know, mouse and keyboard's good out across the board, but Ascension... You can only theoretically get the world record on Ascension if you use a controller, so. Or at least part use a controller. The world record holder of Ascension, you know, I'm second in the world on it, uh, which is pretty good, but the world record holder of Ascension does dual controllers, so he has a controller and a mouse and keyboard and uses bits and bobs for both, which is nuts. You know, I, I have had to do that before on certain things, but I normally use it to open doors a little bit quicker now and again if I've got the opportunity of doing so. But, um... Yeah, the, the Lunar Lander trick can only be performed on controller, which just means that, you know, you save a lot of time, which is good. Why am I dying every time? What, when I, when, on the, what, right now? Um, it, it, it's, sometimes it's a real death, sometimes it's me dying on purpose, because the time is getting not great. The mystery box has already moved, or... If I've not got anything in the first few hits, you know, the, the run start is getting a lot less. This map is heavily, heavily, heavily um, based on getting a good time, getting your stuff early, and then you've got points to be able to open the rest of the map up and flip rounds to get monkey rounds and stuff like that. So sometimes I'll I'll die, my, I'll just die on purpose. And then other times it'll be a real death, but I'm not that bothered or frustrated because we're not getting anything we want from the mystery box, which is good. So that's good. <coughs> Let's go, dude. Let's go. <laughs> why can it only be contr uh, done on controller? I actually don't know the mechanics of why it can only be done on controller. There there's like a real, real reason. But the Lunar Lander trick where you activate the Lunar Lander without actually riding the Lunar Lander for some reason, whenever you're playing mouse and keyboard, it automatically attaches you to the Lunar Lander if you try and back out. Of the uh, of the area you're in, like what you have to do on controller to be able to skip the Lunar Lander animations and stuff, uh, and skip the ride of the Lunar Lander. But when you're on mouse and keyboard, it like attaches you, it like sticks you straight to it, and you can't get away from it. So, yeah, it's it's an odd one. I don't know the ins and outs of it, and I have no idea why it does that the way it does. But I guess it's beneficial for me as a controller player that I'm able to then go ahead and uh, get a better time, especially with Ascension being one of my favorite maps to speedrun as well. Is that final? Oh yeah, there's still chunks falling. I have no idea what um, is this final? Okay, good, 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 good. Hell yeah, dude! Hell yeah, dude! You came late. Why is this the last stream? It's okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Let me just put this out. <laughs> 
This isn't my final ever live stream, okay? I'm still gonna be live streaming every single day. This is my final super Easter egg speedrun stream. So I wanna focus on other maps and get better at other maps and get better individually and like work on individual maps, getting better and better and better and better at things. And then we can return to super Easter egg speedruns in a few months. Once, we, once we've literally mastered every single map possible to master. I think that's a really, really good idea. I don't know about you guys, but I think it'll be really beneficial. In a few months, you'll see a huge difference. Going on to Gulf War, you'll see a crazy difference in uh, how good I can play, which is needed, definitely. I used to be one of the best in the world. I'm now slacking a little bit, and I want to get back to that point again where people go, oh, Conan Pizza, incredible player. Now it's like, oh, Conan Pizza, oh, dude, I remember when he was insane. I don't want that. That's not a nice thing to think that I used to be good at something. I want it to be that I'm good now. So let's freaking do it, man. Let's smash it, you know? So, yeah, we got this. We got this. <laughs> do I ever think the premise crew will come back? I do. I do think the premise crew will come back. I'll tell you why. Because apparently there's going to be brand new premise merch dropping from U2 soon. Uh, I, I don't know how Lex found it. I saw Lex post about it. I have no idea where he found the article or anything, but those U2s that, like, make figurines, they're making a, a full premise set, um, which is just weird, right? So, yeah, I do. I think they've got some kind of some kind of information that, uh, you know, and they want to capitalize on that. Although, it, like, it's, like, it's a bit weird, isn't it? Why would you make something mass produce something for a company uh, if they weren't relevant at the time just makes you think it makes me think anyway it makes me think that we're gonna get some kind of merge soon uh, and, and with that merge we're gonna get actual drops so yeah man, i'm excited and i do think we'll see premise again exhibition knows it can make a, a crap ton of money by doing premise because we all love premise we, we want more it never gets boring and we all love the characters so yeah i absolutely think that we will get more premise stuff for sure go on go on go on Oh, give me a gush, baby. Give me a gush, device. Give me a gush. Give me a gush. Give me a gush. I'm going to open this doorway up because I'll be able to have two hits on here. Oh, that's not good. Go on. Ah, oh, this is bad. I don't think I'll have time to get to this one. No. Anything good? Dude, this is jokes, man. How have I not got anything yet? Okay, let's dip. We'll go and do the next Lunar Lander, I guess. What are we on? Five minutes? That's fine. We're looking good. You post your ride. You got three out of a hundred? Woo, baby! That's insane. GG, dude. GG. Love that. I think you beat yourself up. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry. I, I, I beat myself up a lot, but I'm now back into the uh, the grind of things. It's it's a lot of a lot of the time with me, man. I like I always explain this. I'm an absolute snowballer. So whenever whenever something goes wrong, like a very small thing, I'll then think of other small things that I don't like, and it just constantly snowballs into me thinking it's terribly negative thoughts. It's not good, but. I guess on the positive side of that, I can do I can do it backwards, and I can be like, you know, be like, okay, now we're good. I, we set we set what we're doing here, and we get it going good. Oh my god, do we do another round here? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I was about to say, do we do another round here with the double points and see? I don't know. Let's do a reset again, and let's hopefully freaking get the Gersh device this time from the first mystery box. See the Gersh device, man, and we're good. But yeah, today, dude, today for the next. 20, 20 days, let's say 20 days. I don't want to do anything crazy. But every single top donor of the day gets a Revelations poster. Because I found a brand new box when I was cleaning things out. But, uh, but yeah, there you go. Top donor for the next 20 days will get sent a signed Revelations poster. With a little shadow mod and the Coke Day Pizza logo. Oh, it's beautiful. But at the minute, it's P Dog. P Dog with the £1.15. That's what we love to see, Mr. P Dog. Thank you very much as well. For supporting the channel with that one pound fifteen as well, dude. Like it means it means a lot. Thank you very, very, very much. Freaking legend, dude. Legend. Legendary man. Legendary. Okay. Round flip time, baby. Round flip time. Make our way through this thing, dude. Woo! You got like a billion of Matrosh canals, but no gush device. It's happening soon. It's happening soon. Okay? It's happening soon. Ooh, okay.
What, what are y'all discussing inside of the chat? I missed the topic that y'all are discussing. But I see... Well, Bailey, what are you discussing? I'm, I'm, I'm out of the loop. Someone... Someone's channel? Whose channel? I'm so confused. Tell me. Tell, get me back in the loop, dude. I don't want to be out of the loop. This is my channel. I want to know what's going on. <laughs> Revelations is the only one that I'm missing. Woo! You gotta be top donor. Right now it's P Dog with a 150, and they're literally just top donor rewards. We never sold these, they're just top donor rewards. So if you want it, just make sure at the end of the live stream you're the top donor. Simple as that. Ooh. Interesting. Really, really good. That double points for the next round is beautiful. No insta though. No insta though. Streaming on the 13th of March. Let's have a look. Wednesday the 13th of March. I will be live. I will be live. Three. Two. One. Let's go. So oh, Codename Life! What a legend. Dude, that was my YouTube channel. <laughs> that was my, the name of my second YouTube channel that I launched with Nova. Codename Life, and then we did vlogs on there for like the whole of our vacation. Or we at least put out seven vlogs, and then I got bored of vlogging, and I kind of wanted to live IRL instead of living behind a camera. But for the time that we were doing it, oh, it was great. It was good fun. Codename Life. I, I always thought, dude, I, I've only just put the two and two together. I was always like, dude, I, I recognize that name from somewhere, and I don't recognize it just because you're inside of the chat. Because my fucking YouTube channel, dude. <laughs> don't like opening this doorway up, but I've unfortunately had to go. I've been pushed back through here so I can get through this round three nice. On a few bullets, perhaps I should stab them. Final ones. Where are we on three? Oh, dude, this is a slower game, but hey, we'll take it if we can get the freaking Gershavice, right? And an insta kill. Okay, let's go. We'll go this way around. We have to open this anyway, right? Let's go. Two different topics. It's like my VA for cut. Okay. Seeing channel activity for people's accounts so we can see every message they've sent per stream. Wait, what? Wait, you could see that? How the hell do you see that? That's wild. Is that like a mud thing? I've never heard of that. Is it what? You can see the people's channel on, on my channel now because you're a mod? Ow! Oh! Okay. Okay. This is just started popping off, dude. Unfortunately, I've got a fucking sniper rifle. Okay. This is bad. Go, Gersh. Go, Gersh. Go, Gersh. Use a Gersh. Use a Gersh. Okay. Go, go, go. We just need a Reagan or a Thundergun. Could do with a point building weapon of some sort. Could do with some sort of point building weapon. Okay. That was good. That's huge. Oh, God. Go, 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 go. One bullet of the M 1911 as well. Absolute joke. Where the hell is final? Where the hell is final at? What? The, where, where, oh my god, where did you come from? Dude, that guy just spawned into existence. Okay, go, go, go. Out of here, out of here, out of here, out of here. Mystery box hit. Go. Raygun, Thundergun. We get this. Let's go. Ah, mental, dude. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, dude, that is disgusting. Right, well, I'm still stuck. I'm still stuck, so I can't bloody use it, dude. We might have to go for a Gersh throw in a second, you know. We're gonna have to go with a Gersh throw in a second to try and stay safe here. Yeah, now, 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 now. Thank you. So I either need a ma Oh my god, dude! There's a Gersh on the ground! You absolute pleb! There's a Gersh on the ground! And he still manages to double swipe me. Sticky zombies, dude. They exist on Black Ops 1 too. But hey, we didn't have the Ray Gun, didn't have the Thunder Gun. It's absolutely fine. We had a point building weapon. Well, you had no point building weapon. It's all good. No, it's not gonna be the first time we get a, uh, a Gersh device. We're all good. We keep on going. We keep going. We keep rocking it. It, it, that, that's a really weird feature that you mods can then see stuff. I, I, I kind of like it, man. I guess, I, I, can you like see everything? I, uh, I'm, I'm intrigued. Send me screenshots. That's, that's revolutionary. Did that start this stream? Or have you had it for a while? Can't believe I've never heard of it. Nuts. I rate it though. I rate it. It's fine. Ignore it. Double swiping while the Gersh device is down. 
Happens to the best of us, man. Happens to the best of us. Codename Life, though. Big up, Zoo. Thank you very much for top dono of that 935 right now. Activating the secret Rick Toffin dono. Cheater. What? The, the zombies are cheats? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? The zombies are cheats? The zombie, the zombie cheated. The zombie cheated. <laughs> Brilliant. Let's go. The double swipe, dude. Hey, 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 Lupin! Woo, baby! 10 gifted members inside of the chat right now. Thank you very much, Mr. Lupin. Oh, baby, baby, baby. If you guys inside of the chat right now got the gifted from Lupin, please make sure you say thank you to Lupin inside of the chat right now. 10 gifted memberships is unreal. I appreciate you a lot, Mr. Lupin. Hell yeah, dude. Sit back, relax, enjoy the rest of the live stream. You absolute freaking legend. Absolute legend. The 10 gifted inside of the chat. Once again, if you ended up getting that, please make sure you spam and say thank you to Lupin inside of the chat right now. <laughs> what a freaking legend Lupin is. Thank you so, so much, dude, with the 10 freaking gifted, baby! <laughs> oh, my. I love seeing you guys inside of the chat like, oh, member again? Gifted member again? Love it. Thank you very much, Lupin. Legend. Absolute legend. You guys have got special emojis who have just got membership as well. You now have Gersh device emojis, Ray gun emojis, Thunder gun emojis, RNG emojis, luck emojis. If you want to spam inside the chat, give me some good luck. Hopefully get the Gersh device again from the mystery box and get the Ray gun and the Thunder gun, whatever. Make sure you spam inside of the chat those emojis once we get over to that mystery box, baby. Get rid of you two. And then uh, I don't think we'll have many left, man, because that... That thing down there has done a lot of the work for me right now, which is good. Is that was, oh, we got two over here and one there. Okay. Whoa, we are red. We are red. Go. We're red on the game, but Manchester is blue. What? What? 3-1, dude. 3-1. Done the double over them this year. 3-0 and 3-1. Beautiful. 1, 2, 3, 1. Wait for it. Two, three. Is that it? Hell yeah, dude. Let's get out of here. Pretty sure it's the fourth gift you've ever had. Let's go, dude. That's what we like to see. Hell yeah, brother. Where's the MWZ streams? I can guarantee I'll probably never play that game mode again, unfortunately. Because that game mode will be crossing it over to Treyarch's game, and I'm going to smash it on there. We're going to play Treyarch's game so bad by Gulf War. Gulf War. I bet. Oh. Cheeky, cheeky, what we like to see, dude. I'm so freaking excited for Gulf War, you know. Like, really, I'm just, I'm excited to make Mythbusting Mondays. The amount of times I get asked, probably daily, when Mythbusting Mondays is coming back, and I have to go soon, or seven months, or this long. But now I can actually give you a time frame and say, dude, Gulf War, it's coming back. Weekly episodes, man. It's gonna be freaking great. I can't wait. Mythbusting Mondays, the bread and butter of the channel. What I love to do is making a full-fledged return with Call of Duty Gulf War. So freaking hyped. Oh my god, this sprint was annoying. Right, let's go. Got another hit on the max right now. We want a Gershi, Gershi, Gershi. Give me the Gershi, baby. Three, two, one, Gersh. Dude, what is wrong with these Matryoshka dolls? Why are they non-stop appearing? I don't want them. I want the Gersh. Pineapple on pizza. If you put pineapple on pizza, you need to have a serious look at yourself in the mirror and go, what am I doing? Does it deserve to be in a fruit bowl? Absolutely. One of the nicest fruit ever. I'm not saying it's a bad product. I'm saying it's freaking great. Is pizza good? Yes. Is fruit good? Yes. Do I want fruit on my pizza? No. And don't give me the argument. You better not stand up now and go, Well, technically, tomatoes are fruit pizza. You know, you put tomato sauce on your pizza, don't you? That's technically a fruit, so you do. But I don't care. It's not really, is it? You're not going to go into your fruit bowl, pick up a tomato and go, Ooh, let's eat this like an apple. Yunk. You're not going to do that. You know why? Because realistically, it might be a fruit technically, but we all know it's a fucking vegetable. Okay? So we can go on my pizza. Don't put pineapple on my pizza. It's not difficult. Okay? Simple as that. No. It doesn't deserve to go on a pizza. No way. But I want it in my fruit bowl. This is incredibly good. Top two fruit, man. Top two fruit. Top two fruit. Pineapple. Mango. Simple as that. But I don't want it on my pizza. Okay? Fair? 
Fair. I think that's a fair enough statement right there. A very, very fair enough statement. Let's go. Tomatoes are fruit. Does that make ketchup a smoothie? Exactly. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Ah. Midwest Monday is how I found this channel. Good. I'm glad. I'm really, really glad. That's why I'm excited to bring it. Oh my god. Let's go, my boy Nick. Woo, baby. Drop to nuke, dude. Drop to freaking nuke. Hell yeah, dude. I give it. Oh, dude, you dropped a nuke and I got a nuke. Uh, we kind of want to maximize points, though, but it's there if I need it, I guess. Okay, I need it. <laughs> I need it. Let's go, Nick, with a 25. Get in the top dono spot. I just hit myself in the face by accident. Get in the top dono spot. Becoming a legend here on the channel, of course. Legend. Love you, dude. Thank you so, so much for supporting the channel, but I appreciate you a lot. I'm telling you what. Now, if someone could just say Gersh inside of the chat, I feel like we've got that power right now. You said Kaboom. We got a nuke. If you said Gersh, we're probably going to get a Gersh, dude. I, that's the only way that I can think this is going to happen. Let's go. Not long until we're going to get two of two. The moment we get two of two, we're out of here. We've done it. Ketchup has loads of sugar. Dude, it's so mental, right? In the UK, we're really good with our foods, right? Because we're not, we're, not, we're, we're, we're not allowed all the crap that the US is allowed in their foods. So, like, you go to the store here in the UK and it's like... No added sugar, no added salt, ketchup. And you're like, okay, that's a healthier up for the kids. I shall get that. I go to the US and I have to choose. I'm like, normal ketchup, yeah, cool. I'm not going to get that because the kids, I want to keep them a little bit healthier. So not normal ketchup. And then I get, I had to choose in Walmart whether I go for no added sugar, sugar or no added salt. There, there was no option of both. I had to pick. I went, I went, I went with the easier option. I went no added, no added sugar. I'd put, uh, salt's bad for kids, man, but I don't, at least it's not going to make them run around for two hours straight going nuts, right? I went with that one. No added sugar is probably the better option. <laughs> it, it's mental. If you look at the back of ingredients compared to the UK and the US, it's nuts. Even like McDonald's, man, you look at the McDonald's chips in the UK or fries in the UK. It's like potato. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Look at the one on the back of the US. It's like all these numbers and all these random ass things I've never heard of. Like they sound like they're from a laboratory. It's mental. Uh, yeah, weird. It's, it's so strange. But hey, all the food now tastes way better though. So uh, it is what it is. It tastes better, but you're eating a load of random stuff. But there you go. Code in life with another 115. Thank you very, very. Oh my god, you dropped another 115 to come in the top donut. And then Nick freaking. But I dropped some kaboom. Well, let's read that out right now. Saying, pizza, did you see the pictures of the poster I put in DC Merge? I ended up getting two World at War posters. Not sure if that was a mistake. Probably a mistake. I kind of just wrote the addresses on them. What were you supposed to get? <laughs> I wrote the addresses on them. I was just working off whatever Bailey put inside of that, in, in, outside of that sheet. So I guess if Bailey put your address twice, I sent two. I mean, you can have two. It's no big deal. You, you got two, man. You're all good. Let's go, dude. <laughs> That's what we love to see. Oh, my God. We've got 10-month membership renewal as well from Hamza saying LADCAM. Oh, my God. Dude, I forgot to put it on again. I always keep forgetting to put LADCAM on. One sec. Beep, boop, beep. LADCAM activated. Lad, there we go. Lad comes working again. We're all good. We're up and rolling. Lad, yeah, dude, we're good. Thank you very much for wanting it to get back on, my friend. I appreciate you a lot, Hamza. Uh, thank you for asking for Lad come. Appreciate you a lot, dude. <laughs> Was in the UK last year. The fast food is better than the US. Really? You genuinely believe that? I think your food tastes so much better. Our food's very bland, but it's 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 nice. I don't have a problem with UK food. I think UK food's really good. But it's, it is a lot blander than, than the US food, for sure. In terms of, like, you, you, you can taste so much more random stuff in your foods in the US. Which, you know, like I said, it's a lot of random crap that you, you, you don't really need to be eating. But, it just makes everything taste way better. <laughs> so, I'm fair enough. I'm dead. I couldn't get away from the crawler. I thought the crawlers were one hit. That was my, like, my first real, real death that I genuinely couldn't avoid. Final. We're working through this. We're going to have a really, 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 really good game today. The main brand! I love the main brand, dude. What a freaking legend, dude. They're on the list twice. Two separate ones. 
for mystery boat mystery poster and world at war poster. Did you miss the bit that it said mystery? Nah, 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 nah. I, I, did you get did you get a mystery? If you didn't get a mystery one, then I, I don't know how a world at war poster ended up in mystery. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, though. Well, enjoy your two World at War posters. And, uh... I, <laughs> oh, no. I'll figure something out, man. I'll, 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 I don't know. I don't know how that happened. I, I was doing it relatively late at night, but I remember coming up and getting two from a mystery box. That's so odd. We'll figure it out, man. The main brand with that 14-month. What a freaking legend saying. Hope you're having a great stream, Peter. I am. And I'm feeling re-energized. And I've been on a big run this morning. And I've... I've, I've been on a big walk as well and i just feel ready to rock <laughs> thank you oh the family is giving well so i'm late to the stream don't you apologize for being tardy good sir no one has to be on these streams the moment they go live you just gotta make sure you rock up at some point leave a like and say hello and i'm happy with that man thank you very very much the main brand. and yeah no we've had a really 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 nice weekend did anyone do anything this weekend let me know anyway friday of course, as I was mentioned on the live stream all Friday, I was going to get my favorite pizza place on Friday. And did I? Of course I did. Of course I did. Got my favorite pizza place on Friday. Absolutely loved it. Amazing, amazing pizza. And then Saturday, Saturday morning, we took the kids out to a new play center that's just opened up near our house, uh, which they loved. It was freaking great. We got to see um, some of our friends as well who were also taking their kid there. And uh, yeah, no, it was a really nice Saturday morning. And then, <clears throat> and then Saturday afternoon... I was like doing bits and bobs around the house, getting rid of a load of crap, going to like the the, the tip. We call it the tip. What do you all in America call it? You all call it the uh, the junkyard, maybe? I don't know what you all call it. We call it the tip. <laughs> just where you take a load of crap and it just goes into a landfill or whatever. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we did that. Oh, I did that. Getting rid of a load of stuff because obviously we're thinking about moving house this year and yeah, I need to get rid of a load of stuff. So did that and then... Um, and then, yeah, and then, and then, nicely, Nova's parents said they'll look after their kids on Saturday night. So, uh, me and Nova got to go out and have a few, a few drinky poos. And, um, and we went for a, we went to go and try a brand new Indian restaurant that we've never tried before. That everyone was claiming is the greatest Indian restaurant ever. And, um, and we went to there and it was, it was pretty good. I wouldn't say it's the best Indian I've ever had in my life, but I would say that it's, Top 10. Top 10 is fine. Maybe top 5. It was nice. It was good. It was really good. And then obviously yesterday... Obviously it was a really good day. Right? 3-1. What? 3-1. Yeah, of course. So yeah, there you go. We are... Uh, yesterday was good because of the football. Obviously. Always nice getting a, a fat dub on the football to annoy you. Especially when it's against the noisy neighbors across the road. Uh, which is great. Let's freaking go, dude. Also, the main brand inside of here is saying, have I ever been to a Roxy Bar ballroom? They are great fun. There's one in Manchester, actually. I don't think we've ever been. It used to be called something else when we were kids. It was called something like, uh, when I say kids, when we were, like, early 20s, um, late teens. The, the Roxy Bar that's there now? I can't remember what it was called. I think it was a drag place. Um, do you know, like, a cabaret drag show kind of thing? Uh, but everyone used to go. It used to be, like, everyone went to it. Uh, but I can't really remember. I don't know if I ever actually went in. But that's what it used to be. And now there is a Roxy, but we've not been yet. Um, we, we keep on saying we're going to go. Because they've got, like, pool and, like, different games. Like, bas like indoor basketball there and stuff, I think. Uh, so it'd be a really cool date night. But we, we just keep on keep on forgetting about it. And then every time we're in town and we, like, go past it, we're like, hell yeah, do you need to go? Oh, my God. Matryoshka dolls again. Again. I don't want them. I want the good device. All I want is the Gersh. I don't want no Matryoshka doll, dude. Nope, I got all the posters. I was meant to get it just ended up with an extra box. Ah, well, that's good. You got a mystery one. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, I'm glad you got everything. You just missed out. And you just got two World of War. Were they in the same package? Did I accidentally put two in the same package? I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyway, there you go. Let's go, man, Bram. Thank you very, very, very much. Killwire as well. Thank you very much for the two months of membership renewal as well. I appreciate you a lot, good sir. Thank you very, very, very much. And also, we just had two more donos. Oh my god, dude, y'all are, y'all are, you're you, you making me work today. <laughs> you're making me read. You're making me read today. Uh, we got Killwa saying you haven't got the Altrice and Shadows, but you got neither. Okay, where number one, where are you located? Number two, I would say if you've not got both, you're still okay. 
That, that, that's because they're not in the same package. They're individually sent. So if they've not got to you yet, then I still think you're fine. Um, I still think you're fine. Yeah, I, I, the, there was people at this uh, like last week. In, they, we had one person in California say they got theirs last week, and someone else in the U.S. as well that only got it last week as well. I can't really determine international postage, and I have no idea how long it would take to get international postage. Um, because sometimes it will be like three weeks or other times like I don't understand how the one in California only just turned up That's like literally over a month. That's mental. Like where's it been? How slow is it moving? Is it on a ship instead of being on a plane? I don't know, but uh, I think I think you're still fine. I think you're all good. Saudi Arabia I think I think you're fine. I remember writing your addresses on them and thinking Please tell me this is right like you you do all your addresses backwards, right? The same way that you read text and stuff, your addresses are backwards. I'm sure that's right. Um, and, and and as long as you sent the address right to me, then the, the guy the, the guy at the postal shop that, that did them for me will have absolutely have done it right as well. I can almost yeah, as long as you sent it right. I tell you what, give it give it for the Saudi Arabia ones, give it two more weeks. Okay? Give it two more weeks. If you've not got it in two weeks, let me um, let me get your address again, okay? And I'm gonna go to the postal shop and just confirm with the guy working there that it is correct. Because what they do is, I didn't know this until I started doing, um, like sending all this stuff out, but we have the Royal Mail here, right? Which is our postal service. And when you go into the shop to do international mail with them, they can, they have everyone's address ever on a system. I didn't realize it was all system stuff. So. They literally type your address in and it pops up as a real thing and then so it's definitely on its way to you. So uh, Give it give it give it two weeks if it's not there. I will I'll make my way back to the shop and double check Oh, baby! Razor with an 18 month right now. So he played Origins for the first time in months. Wow, I need to start grinding again. Can't remember the Easter egg. <laughs> so I remember the Easter egg. I'm just falling behind in terms of my times compared to the rest of the community. And that's why I want to make BO3 Origins pretty much. As long as the poll stays that way. Because uh, obviously we could do 9 as well if you all want. But BO3 Origins should probably be the first map that we absolutely crush. I can't tell if that's a double point. And if it is, I really want it. Can't tell if that's a double points or not, and if it is, I need it. Oh, risk it, risk it, risk it for the double. Thank you. That's a great double points. Box has moved as well, so we can kill the rest of these zombies right now, flip the round, and then go on the Lunar Lander. We're all good. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely freaking beautiful. Right, let's go. Ghost device time. Ghost device time right now, chat. I need y'all to spam Ghost device inside of the chat. Spam RNG inside of the chat right now as well. I need the Ghost device, and this is going to be a solid run, especially with having that double points there. This could be absolutely solid. Gersh, Gersh, Gersh. Come on, Gersh. I got two more hits on this. Come on, Gersh. Come on. Gersh device now. Final hit for Gersh. Final hit for Gersh's right now. Oh, one off, baby, one off. It's fine. We're working on it. We're working on it. We're working on it. We're working on it. Also, we have got Codename Life inside of the chat right now with a 2099. Sorry, I've checked that. you did it five minutes ago. And I've just had to try and catch up. Codename Life saying, nope, I got all the poses. Oh, you meant that you ended up with an extra world of war. Got you. I don't know how that happened, but enjoy, enjoy the extra world of war. Give it to a friend. Take it to, put it on eBay. Put it on eBay, okay? Get it on eBay and do just an auction. I want to see what it goes for. <laughs> I'm intrigued. But uh, let's see. Let's see. Anyway, thank you very, very, very much, good sir. I appreciate you a lot. And uh, thank you very much for being top donor right now as well. Appreciate you. We are doing the Revelations posters for the next 20 days. Just got found an extra box of them as I was clearing out this office, which is freaking great. Keep on finding boxes of crap, man. And then you'll open a box and go, Ow! This isn't crap. This is unreal. It is so good. So, uh, so yeah, we're doing the Revelations poses for that in the next, we'll do 20 streams. I don't want to get too crazy and have like 50 things that I need to send out, but 20, 20 is good. 20 is good in my opinion. Okay, mystery box though. Mystery box is, uh, we need good mystery box. And I have no idea where it is. Whoop, I don't think it's there. Where is it? Okay, that, I think, is over at Stamina. So we, uh, well, let's get this Lunar Lander done and we'll open up, stamina up and see if we can get it. 
Is it stamina? Yeah, I think it is stamina, you know. Let's do this Lunar Lander first, and then we'll see. Woo! Have I got, have I found extra IW? No. No, I can guarantee there's no extra IW. The only other IW that I have right now is my personal copy, and that's it. Uh, we had, we had four IW posters that we sold last month, actually. Uh, but they were the very, very, very last ones that exist. The very, very, very last ones. I actually want to do one more zombie round here, so I do want to flip this. I want to do one final zombie round and then hopefully get a monkey round on the next one. <clears throat> so if I can get a revive now, maybe? We'll see. We'll see. That's going to make our way away. What's the posters that I found? I managed to find Revelations posters. I was, I was under the impression that I ordered 50, but I must have ordered 100 of them. Because I've got another 50 available right now. Still waiting on Gersh, dude. Still waiting for Gersh. Still waiting for Gersh. Thank you very much for 200 plus likes, by the way. Holy crap. The vibes are real today. Gersh! The vibes are definitely real today. Thank you very, very, very much. Oh my god, dude. How was the first guy? A, one, a, 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 a stab and a knife and then... Oh! Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Right. I have everything. I just need points, dude. I'm dead. No, I'm not. Yeah, I am. No, I'm not. Yeah, I am. No, I'm not. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. Fuck, dude. <laughs> we go again! I didn't have any points, though. That, you know, we had everything. We had three of three. Or two of two. You only need two things on this, but... We go again. We got this, okay? We absolutely got this. Uh, Richard. Let's go, Mr. Richard, inside the chat, saying, I'm going for world record on Varug. Second ring challenge. My PB is 15, which is fifth on the leaderboard. What's top on the leaderboard? If you're going for world record, what is it? Second room? What does that mean? What does that mean on Varug? And do you get to pick the side of wh which one you spawn on? I would assume that you would want to spawn on the quick revive side, right? Second room. You're not allowed to leave. Oh, you may, you, are you allowed to use both rooms? With, with, with anywhere but here? Oh, dude. Varug, Varug baffles me in terms of uh, records with first room and second room. Let me know, though. The Gersh curse. It wasn't good enough, man. It wasn't a good enough run. We're okay. We go again. We definitely roll it back. You love IW, and you need to frame it. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. These are the uh, the revelations ones that we have right now, because I found an extra crate of these. So we've got... I'm j I'm not selling these, though. We're, I, I, dude, we've been selling too much stuff. So we're gonna we're, we're gonna wait until our next posters for um for the end of this month for uh, for the next poster drop, which should be Moon. It should be Moon. Uh, but we're not selling those Revelations posters. They're just going to the top dono each day. So if it's one pound, it's one pound. If it's 20 pound, it's 20 pound. Right now, 31.49. Unreal. Insane support. So thank you very much, bud. We'll do it for the next 20 live streams. So someone will probably get one one day for like four pounds. One pound. I don't know. It'll be it'll be low. There'll be some very, very, very low days. Um, but yeah, there you go. So good stuff. Good stuff. Is it is it a no gobblegum room for if it's for a two room? You have to be out of the first room before round seven hits, and then you just stay in, in room two. That's uh, such a unique category, man. Who came up with that? Round twenty seven is tough. Is that no gobblegum, dude? Surely it's no gobblegum or classics, right? Mega gobblegum. You'd be destroying that. You'd be destroying it. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way that you can't. There's no way that that's uh, megas. Megas, you get to like round 100. Super, super easy. Right? You can't wait for the Easter egg book? Yeah, dude, absolutely. It's still going to be a thing. Like, I've got all... I, I love that you realized that when I, when I showed the Revelations poster as well. You said that. Because that Revelations poster is part of the Revelations artwork for that uh, for the Revelations page of the, of the book. It's definitely going to still be a thing. People keep on saying, oh, it's not happening. It is happening. Of course it's happening. It's something that I wanted to release a long time ago, but... I want it to be a full collection. I want it to be what's known as a coffee table book. A big, thick-ass book. That has everything you'll ever need to know. And, um... And I just need to keep on... You know... And, until Treyarch stop making bangers. So I reckon I reckon after the, after Gulf War, we'll release it. We might have to release it in two copies. And do World at War through BO3. And then do BO4 through Gulf War. I think that might be a play. But, uh... But everything's ready to go for at least up until the end of Cold War, so... It's pretty good, man. I'm excited about it. Very, very, very excited about it. Let me try 
closing my eyes. That's loaded. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it is annoying the hell out of me now, man. Every single time we're playing, we're getting the feckin' Matryoshka dolls. I don't know if I'm being stitched up by the COD gods, but it seems like they only want to give me one thing, and that is the feckin' Matryoshka dolls, dude. Not cool, man. Not cool at all. Not cool. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't get them again. Well, we can't get him again this game, which is freaking nice. That's the only benefit of having him now. <laughs> Restart game. Uh, I, I, yeah, yeah, maybe. If I don't have anything happen this game, we're going to have a, a hard reset for sure. Hey, let's go, Richard. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate you so, so much. Go on. Go on. Yeah, oh, gross. Gross. At least we got a point builder, though. At least we got a point builder. Damn, we're low ammo on the point builder as well. Okay, we good? Nice, let's go. Love me a Galil, dude. Absolute point building god of a gun. Insane. Up there, up there, dude. I'm not saying up there, up there, because it's not it's not matching it, but it's up there with the likes of the PPSH in terms of legendary Call of Duty Zombies weapon, in my opinion. The, tell, tell me the top five legendary non-wonder weapons in Call of Duty. Go for it. Dude, I'm telling you, here, here's what I reckon. PBSH, KRM shotgun from Black Ops 3. There's going to be someone inside the chat that says a dingo, and I kind of, to some extent, agree with you, but not that much. Um, Galil, PPSH. KRM from BO3. People will say the hammer from Black Ops 2 as well. I, I Maybe, maybe, maybe the hammer can be there. It's just the recoil, man. They added recoil near the end of the DLC season, which made it worse. It did my head in. It used to be legendary. So maybe it is. It's part of the legendary crew. It was, ooh. It was a legendary weapon. Just need Gersh. MP5. I don't think it's up there. I don't think it's up there with the best of the best that are goated and known for being incredible. Hellion, Hellion Salvo, fair. Fair, fair, fair. It's basically a feckin' wonder weapon here, really. It's literally the wonder weapon of Black Ops 4. The Brecky? I'm not too sure, man. PPSH, Galil, Command. I think Commando can make that group as well. The MG42, I'd say, as well. The RPK, potentially, yeah. Mustang and Zelly, yeah. I think this needs a top 10 list, you know. <laughs> I think we now need a top 10 for this instead of going for a top 5. There's far too many legendary weapons. I don't know about the crossbow. Crossbow pack punch, maybe, but the base, the base crossbow is a bit... It's not legendary. You don't get excited to get it. When you, think, when you have the money to pack a punch it, though, you're like, okay, this could be good. World of War MP40... Yeah, yeah, but I would say it's, it's not legendary legendary. It's a great weapon and people use it. I actually was a Thompson guy instead of the uh, P, uh, instead of the MP40. But the PBSH, that is legendary. As it's a, a, a 94 man, maybe it's it's definitely it's it's cusping. It's on the cusp of being in that group and I think it might actually deserve to be in the group. I don't know, that's a really tough one man. It's really close to being in the group. The AN94. It's the closest on the edge of either being in that group or not being in the group. And any other weapon I can think of. Freaking great weapon though. Yeah, we're shifting over to single maps, which is great. I'm gonna focus on singular maps, which I can't wait for. BO2 Scar, I'm not sure, man. The Scar, the scar is only on like, it's not on every BO2 map, so it's not, in my opinion, it's not known as an incredible, incredible, like, legendary weapon, you know? Um, don't judge. Don't judge. It's better for the Easter egg. It's the first game where I've had Raygun and Thundergun, though, so we'll see if we get really lucky here. 
and somehow get the Gersh device. We will have a fire cell coming up soon though, so the potential of getting it is huge. We'll see Hades. I still don't see it, man. It's a great weapon. It's a very, very loved weapon. But you know, it's not in that category. Oh my days, let's freaking go, man. I do not have a point, but I need a max ammo. I really badly need a max ammo. Right, round flip. I'm out of here, dude. This could be an okay time. Now, it's not going to be the best time in the world, but let's face it, we could have a time save here and go and make a way up to call it a dead. Okay. Lunar lander time. Lunar lander time. <clears throat> I need 250 points. I would love a maxi as well, if possible. The Huera. I can't even say it, man, from Cold War. Maybe the Gallo also, the M16 from that game. They were the three weapons of that game for sure. I don't know if it's made it up to the point. Executioner. Nah, dude. I still don't understand why people love that gun, you know. No, it's, it's not great, is it? What, what, what was the love for it? I think it was just the Smith plays, you know, that just raved about it. And then it made it like a really popular weapon. I was never a big fan of it. We're going to use that Gersh, or one Gersh to help our runner. <clears throat> okay. I need points, dude. I'm, I'm lacking. I'm going to have to do an extra round. This is not going to be great. I really need a max ammo. <laughs> it's all I'm waiting for is a max ammo right now. And then once I've done that Gersh step and we've done that, and then I can think about going, uh, getting a revive so we can... I may as well utilize this, you know. I may as well utilize this and get a point building weapon. Switch out my Famous. And just get a point building weapon while we can. Nice, that's what we need. Point building. I will do, it's better than nothing. It's better than not having a point building weapon right now. Especially while we've got a double points out Come on, come on. I'll go one more time, just see if we can get an even better one. It's not the best, it does the job. That'll do, that will absolutely do. Okay, this is good. This is now turned into a class game and we're one round away from finishing, I think. And we do need to flip the round. Let's go. I'll go and do this Luna Lander. If we can flip before... Uh, let's flip the round before it. Nice. Right. Ghost device, Luna Lander as well. And then we're out of here. Okay. Let's go. Oh, this is... Ah, we should PB, but it's uh, looking a bit nasty, dude. Looking a little bit nasty. Luckily, I only need 5k. I still need to open the map up, though. And I also need to go and get a weapon. Not a weapon. I need to go and get a revive. So we'll go and do that now, I guess. I'll actually ride the Lunar Lander, believe it or not. I'm gonna ride it legit just to take it to spawn to get the revive, and then we can make our way through the map. Marshall 16's a legendary, but because they're only on that one singular map on Zed's boat, in my opinion, it means that they're not. They're not part of the legendary gang. If they were on every map, they'd be known as the goated, goated pistols of BO3. But with them only being on that one map, it's kind of like, ah, dude, I don't know. This is where we're going to get absolutely bombarded by zombos going up these stairs. But we make it through here and we're good. Means I need a max ammo at some point. Need a max ammo at some point. That'll do. Okay, let's go. I'm going to open the other map up. The other part of the map up. I will need a max ammo before the end of the Easter egg. Obviously, I'll have a monkey round, so that'll probably do the job for me, but let's see. 12 minutes, man. This is... We're going to have a bit of a time save if we got early monkey round, but still, this is rough. Okay. 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 Yeah, dude, if you're talking about IW, though, oh, there's some freaking goated weapons, man. The bomber, the bomber variant is unreal. The Kendalls, yeah, of course. The VPR, I like the VPR. Not my favorite, though. Definitely are better options, but it is a goated weapon still. Love the rolling zombies, dude. Casually rolling around on the floor. Incredible scenes. Oh, crap. That'll do. That'll do. Right, okay. Monkey round and we're good. 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 Nope, got one more zombie round. God, it's gonna be close this 20 minutes, you know. It ain't gonna be a good time, this. 
but I'm gonna I'm gonna play it out anyway. We're gonna play it out anyway, regardless. Let's move the Luna Lunda. That's the final Luna Lunda, and then we need to we need I need the five thousand points to be able to pack punch the Raven, regardless. And if I can get a natural max ammo right now before the monkey run, I don't need to rely on definitely having that monkey die in the right place. That's another benefit right now. It also means I don't have to stay around here. Actually, yeah, you do. You got to do all four on this game. I forget. BO3, you only have to do one button. BO, BO1, you have to do every button. So I am going to stay here so we can get all the buttons done nice and easily. Still a time save to be happening here, I guess. It's not going to be much, though. It's not going to be what I want. I want, I want a massive time save, but this is uh, doable. As long as I get a monkey round next, it's doable. And we've got the 5,000, so that's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful scenes. Allowing us to uh, pack punch this Raven in a second for the final step of the East Road. Natural maxi is what we're looking for here. The natural max ammo is what I want, what I need. That is not, that is a carpenter, which is gross. Not what I want. We might be relying on that monkey bomb maxi man, which scares the hell out of me. Come on. Final. Final zombie. Yeah, right, let's do this thing. Monkeys are coming in. <clears throat> this could be a bit like a minute time save, I guess we'll go with it. If we get a monkey round. No monkey round, we're, we're done. <laughs> are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, I, I don't even know if it's worth playing it. I don't even think we can play it and get it. Ah, dude, we'll see. We'll see. I, I, let's save a second here. <laughs> oh my, yeah, it depends how quick this round goes. Well, let's see how quick the round goes. That's not good, man. Insane bad RNG for this monkey round. Like, actually terrible. Let's keep playing it. We'll get them. We'll get uh, at least the benefit here is that you will definitely get the. Uh, We'll definitely get the natural maxi. The cell three was a great weapon. It's actually not my favorite weapon from AW. Hey, dude, I've got to say the uh, the S12 is by far one of the best shotguns ever in zombies. Unfortunately for me, right there, I need to get up and get stamina up now as my perk, hopefully triggering the monkey round. But there's a weird bug that you have to have a perk for over a round before it does it. So that could be the end of the game right there. Or well, the end of the option of uh, still PB in here, but we'll see. Right, flip. If we get monkey, we go to also. To be fair, summon us pretty good. 16 is still possible. Still possible. Nice. Right, there's one. We're good, we're good, we're good. We can still PB. Just. It's gonna be really fucking close, you know. And I need to make sure I kill the monkey in the right place. They're gonna try and take this stamina up. Uh, this could be really risky, man. Gonna get all the buttons and we're good, but dude, that's rough. I wish we got the last round, so. Get this one, get the next one. We could still maybe do this. So an extra stream this week? No. Nah, wait, wait, I told you. The title of the, the live stream tells you that so our last, this is our very last Super Easter Egg stream. We're never doing another Super Egg stream for about two months. I want to focus on maps, singular maps, and get better and better and better at singular maps. So I think Black Ops 3 is our next one that we're going to do. Make sure we got the buttons, and then we can figure everything else out after that. All right, they're all done. Oh, God, this is, this is not a PB anymore. Oh, we're going to fall behind here. I say we play it. I, I'm just going to play it regardless. Um, even though, yeah, this is going to be like a 21 minute time instead of a 20 minute time. But we got time to save on Call of the Dead and stuff, so we'll see. We'll have other maps as catch up maps. We'll do other maps as catch up maps. Not great, dude. I'm great. Yeah, it's gonna be like a 21 minute time. And it all, it actually comes down to me being able to get monkeys to spawn here and get down here in the next two minutes. My stamina up's gone, which is good, so they are in the way. I think it'll take, <clears throat> you think it'll take more than a week to get good at a, a new strategy? Nah. 
I'm, I'm not, I'm not, see, I'm not trying to get, like, number one in the world. I'm just trying to get a strategy down, which you're talking to two, three streams. Am I going to use sandbox, mo sandbox modes to practice the later steps? Ah, uh, probably, yeah. Probably. <clears throat> probably. But uh, it's not, it, I, I think to get to a point where I'm comfortable and happy and where I can progress with my time. Got to remember, man, the world record of Origins right now, compared to my actual PB of Origins, is 25 minutes or 20 minutes. There's 20 minutes somewhere that I can say that I've not seen the footage. I have no idea what it is. But there's 20 minutes somewhere that I'm not doing, right? It's not just being efficient. It's a, prim a completely different strategy. So as long as I do that, we're good. I think so. Okay, so this is going to be like 21. We'll see this through. And then, yeah, we're going to be behind, but call it dead. You never know. VR 11 first hit. If not, then it's uh, it's a reset, but we may as well at least get over to uh, Call of the Dead while we can. I don't think there's much longer on this, you know. Also nearly died there. That was a teleport. I, I need a better one. I need a better one. I need a better one. Oh, that's better. Let's go. Okay, yeah, 21 minute time. I'll take it. Slightly behind. Should have been way better. It is what it is. It is what it is, man. We had double monkey rounds and stuff like that. Really annoying. Good. Call of Dead's one of your favorite most of all time. I love Call of the Dead, man. It's brilliant. There you go. <laughs> I nearly died to fall damage right there. <laughs> okay. I'll take it. I'll take it, man. It's at least we completed the map like a minute and a bit behind, but Call of the Dead, man, might be that savior. We'll see. Three, two, one and go. Cool. Not bad, man. Let's go make our way up to Call of the Dead right now. I'm pretty happy with that. I can deal with that. Freaking go, dude. Reg, big shout out to you, man. Thank you very much for joining us. We got David coming in right now with a 115. I also missed Grand 7 dropping a 499 before as well. I do apologize. And uh, yeah, Grand said, came back uh, came back to hot. Wait, Grand 7 with a 499. Thank you very much, Grand 7. Let me read out your donation right now. It seems pretty important to read. Uh, you said, came back to the hospital earlier and things are finally going in the right direction. Last uh, last few months have been rough. Your streams have kept me going. Dude, well, I'm glad that things are starting to go in that direction. Brilliant. That's what we love to hear. I don't, I don't want to hear about things not going right in people's lives. I need to know that people are going good. So I appreciate the update and I'm really, really happy that you think that things are going in the right direction because that's the best thing. Things might be going in the right direction, but you need to make sure in your head that they're going in the right direction as well. And happy, dude. GG. That's what we love to see. And I'm glad I could help by streaming as well. I really appreciate that, dude. Thank you for letting me know. Really, really appreciate that. Also, David saying, it's the right thing to do. Learning new strats for single maps will massively improve your super runs when you do sides. Come back to me. Exactly, and it won't be long. You're talking like two or three months until we've fully returned to supers and absolutely smash it. Good luck, Richard. Enjoy your uh, your rev, uh, your rev up to run. You're going to crush it as always. As always, good sir. We got lucky on Mystery Box spawn. Holy crap, man. We got very lucky on Mystery Box spawn. The best Mystery Box spawn right there. Okay, let's do it. Call the dead, baby. Call the dead. One minute and one, uh, one minute and ten seconds behind on, uh, on ascension is never good. Having a time loss for map one is never good. But I know we've got insane time saves available on all maps on this game, so let's freaking go with it, man. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. We'll see how we do here. Let's go, dude. Hey, pizza. Hello, Nicholas. Thank you very much for joining us. Also, chat. Thank you so. So freaking much. So, so. Thank you. <laughs> For the 242 likes from map number one right there. That is incredible scenes. Y'all have turned up today 
and freaking decided to use that like button and I appreciate that so freaking much so thank you insane amounts of likes from insane amazing people thank you thank you thank you I, I seriously that's awesome awesome sauce dude awesome sauce that might be one of the weirdest things I've ever said but yeah, pretty sure <laughs> thank you very much he's so close to 250 as well can't believe it I feel like Oh, that might be uh, up there with uh, a, a recent like record of uh, while well, we've been live for this short amount of time. So thank you, I appreciate you a lot. Um, I'm just gonna let George Romero be. We'll let George Romero be right now. Look positive energy today. Let's go. Well, that's what it's all about, man. I'm telling you, I just needed to have a rethink and a restructure it in my head. Like have a mental restructure of what we're doing here, what we're aiming towards, what I'm aiming towards. This year is, of course, getting a brand new house because we have an insane game coming out at the end of the year in Gulf War. And I need to make sure that the house that I buy will allow me to stream at nighttime instead of just daytime so that we can maximize our potential of growing this year with streams, videos, and just be the best damn zombies content creator that we could ever be. And that is the goal. So, to make that work, make a few things happen here. I'm going to change the stream format around a little bit. Stop do super streams because I'm getting a little bit burnt out on them. Focus more on myself as well. So instead of instantly dropping the kids up at nursery and then instantly streaming for seven hours on a Thursday or Friday and Monday, we're not going to do that. We're just going to live stream in the afternoons. We're going to do five hours of streaming instead of seven hours. And I'm going to have two extra hours for myself each day where I can go on a run, go on a walk, and not feel pressured about running out of time with things. And you know, just get ahead of the curve and freaking go for it. So. Stopping super runs, working on individual maps, getting those times better, and then returning to super runs and absolutely crushing all my previous times. Seems like an absolute goal that I uh, am excited to achieve. So, huh, excited times, man. That was a waste of a double points right there. <laughs> an absolute waste of a doobler. But it is what it is. Let's open this uh, boat up right now as well. What's your favorite BO1 map? My favorite BO1 map. Oh, that's a tough question, man. To speed run as well? That, that's a different question. Do I have to say moon? I don't really know, you know. I just like them all the same. They're all 10 out of 10s in my opinion. I just love Black Ops 1 Zombies. It's something that has really, really grown on me over the past year. I always loved it, but it's massively grown on me over the past year. Black Ops 1 Zombies, and I'm really enjoying playing it, so. Yeah. It's good. It's good. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm get this power on, man. You can see right now I've still got 17 minutes to finish this Easter egg. So a fast VR 11 here, and we're going to crush it and save time, which is great. So it means there's still time to be saved on Ascension next time we do come over to do this. One, one, two, three. One, two. Thank you very much. It's got a little flippity floppity going on right now. We'll probably get all the steps done. We can probably have one go on the mystery box, actually. Let's go. Go on, give me fast VR here, dude. Fast VR 11 would be insane. Spectre, fastest weapon in the game, dude. Happy about that, very happy about it. Fastest running weapon in the game. We can go and get the next step done nice and quick with it. And then we need to try and get VR 11 in a little bit, but hey, I will be able to zoom around the map. Absolutely zoom. I also do need to flip the round now. I'm gonna go and get a couple of these done first, just in case I miss them. I can get my grenades back when I flip around. That's what we love to see, you, dude. Love me a Spectre. Absolutely love me a Spectre. How's it going, Pizza? It's going good, brother. Thank you very much for asking. Yeah, dude. I'm freaking great. One, two, throw. Nice. GG's. One, two, three throw. Missed it. One, two, three throw. Missed it again, dude. Jeez. Oh, great. Let's flip around. Gotta flip it. You gotta flip it so then we can get the freaking maxi. Oh, just give me two grenades about basically, and it's not gonna give me a max ammo. I would take a max ammo, though. Getting all four grenades would be insane. But, uh, this is not what we want to see. We don't want to be missing shots. It's got insta kill though. It's a great insta kill. I may as well use it to get some points together. 
what does the title mean of the live stream right now? It means that this is my very final Super Easter Egg speed run live stream that we're gonna do for at least a few months. Okay, I'm still gonna be here on YouTube. I'm still gonna be streaming it. Oh my god. One, two, three, come Are you kidding me? Right, I got another round. I don't know what's going on with this. We're still gonna be live on YouTube every day. We're still gonna be playing zombies every day. It's just I'm gonna be changing the category of what we're doing here. Mixing it up and focusing on singular maps. Still need a fast VR 11 here anyway to be able to do anything. Fast VR 11 and a max ammo. No, oh, the VR 11. <laughs> Where you at, brother? Where are you at? I need to flip around in a sec as well. I'm expect to back full ammo, which is great for me. I was kind of regretting switching it out for that China Lake. I'm not being able to have that sprinting with this. Dude, the Spectre basically gives you stamina, but it's unreal. Whoop, no, I'm stuck. Okay. We're good? We're good. Until I get a max ammo, I'm just going to keep on hitting the mystery box. Oh, dude, you show it twice? You show the VR11 twice and don't give it me? That ain't cool. That ain't cool at all. We've still got time here, though. Still got time here, though. Oh, crap. Come on. Let's go, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm switching up the content so then supers can come back. That's the thing. I want to focus on individual maps. And then when we do return to supers, they're going to be way, way, way faster times and way more impressive. So, that's the goal. Do I play Modern Warfare 3 Zombies? No. I do not. I played it for like two months when the game came out. It was great. Made a lot of content on it. I do not play it anymore because there is absolutely nothing fun about that game. There's nothing to do on it. What we got for our super run so far? We've got 12 minutes. We're still looking Gucci. As long as I get the VR11 soon and I don't butcher these throws. Also, we haven't had a max ammo yet, so I know there's one coming up, which is good for us. I'm gonna keep the RPK out just in case I get cornered right here. We're gonna move on. One, two, three, throw. One, two, three, throw. Did I get it? I finally got it. GG. All right, let's go. There's got to be a max ammo soon. Oh, I need the points to open the final doors up as well. This is, It's a really, really odd run of Call of the Dead right now just because I missed those throws, which I never normally do. I actually go to this one and throw it from here because it takes longer to do it, but it's a safe option that's guaranteed. We're in an odd game because we haven't got the VR11 yet. And as well as that... I've had to do those extra rounds as well. But they kind of go hand in hand together, so they don't, they kind of rule each other out, having to do extra rounds. But I also need the VR11, so it's not, it's not that bad that I missed them, you know? It's fine. As long as I can get this round flip soon. I've also not had a max ammo, so I've still got two of the generators to still do. There's only one zombie left. Oh, this isn't good. Tight legs, guys. I do apologize, man. I need to focus on individual maps, though. Okay, here we go. 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 Let's go and get the other two done, and then we'll go for VR11 last, I guess. I don't see why not. It, it just seems like an easy thing to do, right? Now. Okay, I could do with the double points on this round as well. Just to maximize those points and potentially get the VR11. We could have a nice time save here if we got very lucky with the VR11. That's it. One, two, three, throw. Missed that one again. That's not good. One, two, three, throw. Okay, that's done. I now need a max ammo, unfortunately. I'll flip the round to get the final red thing done. Then I'd instantly be on that last step anyway, so this is good. I'm not at a max ammo, so there's definitely one coming up. And uh, there's a max ammo and a nuke, so we can finish it. 
And screw it. Yeah, dude, let's go. I, I don't need to open up any more doors. I got 2,000 points, so I've got three hits in the mystery box. I might have to open some doors to go to the next mystery box location, because unfortunately for me, I'm pretty certain this mystery box is incredibly beat, and we've basically got one more hit on this thing. Um, one, two, three, throw. That was terrible. <laughs> one, two, three, throw. Thank you. Right, that's all done. Dude, why is there my grenade from today? I do not know. Okay, let's tell him we're done here, and then I need to be on them. Do I have a plan for when, if you quit YouTube? Do I have a plan for when I quit YouTube? I'll just go back to making music and be a music producer and DJ again, um, and MC, and hopefully like do gigs and travel and stuff like that. That's kind of what I want to do, but I have no plans on quitting yet, but that is what I would like to do. I always dreamt about being a radio DJ, so I'd like to, even though I've always loved DJing in like clubs and pubs and stuff, um, I would very, very, very much like to have a radio show. I would, I would, lo I would love to like be live on the radio. It's mental, right? I must be like one of the only people ever that want to do like an actual dying genre of a job. <laughs> like it's so dying, but I love it, dude. It's so good. De speed run after this, please. What? De I, after after we learn origins, we want to learn de. My de is not bad. That's the problem. I, it's not great, but it's. I don't think it needs that much work doing to it. So I'm gonna. I think bo bo three bo three origins is my first shout. It's, uh, mystery box. I think it's over at stamina. Red stamina. I need the VR eleven. Can spam uh, just spam RNG inside of the chat. Spam RNG inside of the chat right now. We're gonna be absolutely golden if I can get the VR11 right now. Come on, come on, come on. No VR11, dude. Once again, bit of trivia. I told you all this last time. The dragon up that I just got from the mystery box right there is terrible against zombies. But the most powerful weapon against George Romero. Weird, right? I'm getting killed really quickly with that uh, that dragon up. I don't understand why, but yeah, it's one of those things. Still not got it, man. Still not got it. We can have a good time save here if we get it soon. We get it soon. The time save's looking golden. VR11. Ah, dude. How are we looking on uh, RP? Yeah, dude, sw switch now. I'm gonna get 60 bullets left. Christopher! Inside of the chat with a $20 holla RNG! It was it was this close. It was this close. Let's go, Christopher Gay uh, Christopher Garner inside here with a $20 holla. Thank you very, very, very much. Appreciate you a lot. I'm glad that you put the RNG. It's, it's gonna happen. We're gonna have it's gonna happen right now, actually. This exact hit. This hit on the mystery box right now. VR11! No, it's not, but it's coming, man. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you very much for the top super chat of the day so far. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And there's that spectre. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. If I can kind of make my way through this and just save save a zombie, maybe, or thin the round slightly. That's going to be a nice fire cell that I can have multiple hits on. Crap. We have 11. That's a bad down. That's a real bad down. If I can just get one more hit on the box, though, with a fire sale like, it's better than nothing, right? Oh god, there's so many zombies. Don't get doubled. Don't get doubled. It showed it twice in the box. Another go? No? Yes? No? Yes? No? No. Okay, real, real go on the mystery box right now. Go on. Dude, what is going on here? What is going on here? Also, my boy Nick inside here with the six month membership renewal. Getting his moderator badge right now as well. VR11. Oh boy. How are we looking on that time? I'm gonna go and make my way back to the uh, the spawn and go and get a revive just to keep this run alive right now and not risking too much. Let's go, six month badge. I see you and I mod you. Let's freaking go, dude. Thank you very much, Mr. Nick. Appreciate you, man. Legend. 
Am I going for world records or just learning new speedruns? I'll be learning all new speedruns, and if I get attached to a run, oh my god. And if I get attached to a run, sure, I'll I'll try and push for it. But I'm not putting pressure on myself. I can guarantee I will get to a point where I am I I'm like, okay, I am in love with this with this speedrun. And there will be a time where I go, and this is the map I want to do now. But in the minute, I'm not I'm not in love with any particular map for speedrunning. And I don't know if it's just because I'm out of the loop slightly. Uh, and I've kind of, you know, not learned the new strategy in a while, which has made me enjoy them as much. Not enjoy them, but, you know, I'm just not... I get this feeling, man. It's like in the pit of your stomach and you're like, okay. I think my BO1 just crashed. It's like in the pit of your stomach and you're like, this is the map we're going to we're gonna speedrun. And we're going to learn it. And we're going to smash it and get a PB. And get world record, even. And, uh, and it will happen. But at the minute, I don't know what map that's going to be for me. It will happen, though. It will happen. But thank you very much. Holy crap, Christopher! Woo! My boy! He was already the top super chat inside of the chat with a freaking $20 holo. The man doesn't just sit back and go, Ah, that's fine. The man goes, nah, let's drop a red comment right there. Let's drop a freaking hundo bomb, dude. What an actual legend. Woo, dude. Christopher, hell yeah, brother, with $100 inside of the super chat. Dude, I'm telling you what, let me crush a run real quick for you. Let me crush a freaking speed run for you real quick, eh? Let's crush a freaking speed run with you. I wasn't happy with that ascension time anyway. Also, Call of the Dead was not playing games. So, uh, we'll see. Well, well, let's get a good reset of the super run going on right now. But thank you very much for 206 likes. My boy Christopher, freaking A. The GOAT. The GOAT is the GOAT. He is the GOAT, though. Let's go. Thank you very, very much, Mr. Christopher. We've got a huge day ahead of us today in terms of this run, in my opinion. I think, I think, I think you're, you're looking at an incredible, incredible time going to happen today. And I chose this as my final final super run before we go ahead and start focusing on singular maps and getting better and better. Because all the maps in this game, I can't get better and better at. This speed run now for me is 100% luck based. There's nothing on this game at all that I could get better at. I am I am pretty, pretty, pretty perfect on the hour of these four maps. So I went with the this run just because you know, I'm not going to be able to get better. So let's just try for one more RNG run. And then we focus on ourselves and getting better and better and better. We love red super chats. We freaking A love red super chats. We love them. They're rare as balls. We don't see them often, but when we do, hey dude, we, we, love, get them. Me some we love them. Thank you very much, Mr. Christopher. I appreciate that so freaking much, man. Thank you very, very, very much. Hell yeah, brother. I think today we've had like, what, 10 gifted members and $100 inside of the chat. Dude, that's some... That's some big shoes to fill if anyone wanted to beat those. I think we're, we're golden, man. What a freaking start to the stream. And hey, look at this. We're only on map one. <laughs> it might have been out of my uh, my control that we're still on map one. But hey, still on the first map. So we've got a long day ahead of us today. I'm excited for it as well. And I'm ready to keep this energy up throughout the live stream as well. I feel good. I feel very good. I feel very rested, actually. I think it's because I was so nervous yesterday. <laughs> I, I, I was saying for all week, I was like, this is the least nervous I've been going into a derby ever. I feel completely fine, completely happy, and I know we're going to smash it. And you, you can never get rid of the derby day nerves. I was so, I was so adamant to myself that I'd have zero nerves. And then all of a sudden, nervous as hell, man. But it was good. Christopher Garner with another $10 inside of the Super Chat saying, sorry I couldn't catch more live streams recently, but I really appreciate you and what you do. Thanks a lot. Hey, thank you so much. And thank you very much for your 20th ever Super Chat as well. That's a good celebration, man. Hell yeah. Let's go, Mr. Christopher. I really, really, really freaking appreciate that, man. Thank you so, so much. Legend, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. We're, we're, we're going to smash this today, I'm telling you. going to absolutely smash this. You were praying that Rashi's goal was going to be the winning goal. I think, dude, I remember, dude, I, I was like, I couldn't even be mad because it was an, an absolute screamer. You know, in football, when you're a real football fan, yeah, you, you're a massive fan of your club, but you love football, right? And like, you can't be mad at a goal like that unless it was like in the last minute and you're like, oh, balls. But with, the, with so much of the match left, I just couldn't even, I knew we were going to come back and, you know, it was an absolute screamer, so. 
He just needed to acknowledge the, the insane goal. And then, dude, what a great game of football to be able to see the levels of goals that we did. Like, Foden's goal, if not, it matched, if not, was better than Rashford's, in my opinion. I think Foden's goal was unreal. Unreal. But, uh, but yeah, no, it was... It pretty much went the exact way that I thought it was going to be. I didn't, I didn't expect to slaughter unless you decided to not park the bus. You kind of did that for quite a bit. Um, it's a good game. It's a good game. Looking good, though, man. Looking good. <laughs> Watch Mar March posters drop. Is on the... It's, it's either the 22nd or the 29th. The reason why I think I put it on the 22nd, we've been dropping them on Fridays, and I might drop it on a Thursday, which would be the 28th. Because, as you guys know, uh, 20, 29th, I don't, I don't know if you celebrate it or not. 29th is Good Friday, 29th of March, and we celebrate Good Friday, but it's, it's normally a really, really big day for family here. Uh, I don't know if it is all across the UK, but for, for, for our area where we live, it's always a massively celebrated thing, Good Friday. So, we'll... Uh, uh, I will not be streaming on the 29th of March, which we normally do a post drop on a Friday. So, it, would you prefer a post drop to remain on a Friday? If that's the case, then I'll be on the 22nd of March. If you don't mind and you're fine with it being on any day, then we could just do the post drop on a Thursday, which would be the 28th. What would you prefer? You can let me know. You let me know what you prefer. Yeah. We've got the Thunder Gun, so we are literally just waiting for Gersh devices, and then we're looking good. If you're not bothered about being on a Thursday, then we're all good, right? <clears throat> What's it look like? I don't know what it looks like. Yeah, I put in the commission to get made, so it is being made right now. Uh, it's, uh, I believe it's a moon one for March. So I, I, I requested like Samantha like coming out of the pyramid, but I, I might ask to make some changes. You know, I can't. You know what? I really like the idea about like the pyramid and then Samantha's like coming out, but it's Samantha's like split down the middle and it's Rick Toffin as well, like a zombified Rick Toffin on one side of a body and Samantha on the other, or the post is split straight down the middle and you have one either side. That sounds dope now that I'm saying it out loud. That sounds really good. Okay, I'm gonna ask for that. Yeah, like I'm gonna I'm gonna get some tweaks made. That, that's freak that sounds so good, man. What a freaking great idea. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll get all that sword. <laughs> that was easy. We'll get all that sword. Good size, man. Good size. Day doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, good. We're still looking for that Gershie McGersh pants, man. We're just looking for Gershie McGersh pants. We get Gershie McGersh pants. Oh, we're looking beautiful. We're looking great. Ares, welcome, man. Good to see you. You didn't palm us to play in the Euros? He's a great player, man. We did we, we sold him at the right time. He wasn't ever gonna flourish in the city squad. He, 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 he did a lot for us. He did a lot for us, and he was great. And he was one of our, you know, best academy assets, and he was amazing. Did a lot for us. We sold him at the right time for a good price as well. And now he's flourishing at Chelsea, which is brilliant for him. I think we're really happy for him, man. Um but uh, he, he definitely has to travel. Yeah, absolutely. He has to go to the Euros of England. I don't, I don't think he's not starting 11, though, for me. He's not starting 11, but he absolutely needs to travel and be used at some point, for sure. But, uh, dude, if we're not winning something this year with our England squad, squad especially with the likes of Foden being so informed, we're never going to win anything. Right? I just don't know what the hell. How do you go so wrong with so amazing? Like, I mean, players are insane for England. I'm such a big England fan, and it really annoys me at times. Like, the, the fact that we've now got, like, Jude Bellingham, and we'll have Phil Foden, and two players that are incredibly in form. And we'll have Declan Rice as well in the middle. Like, dude, if we're not winning something this year, like, it's stupid. Absolutely stupid. Even our defense, dude. Even our defense. Yo, we got, we got, we got. You can pick who you're gonna play. If you're gonna play Trent or you're gonna play Walker. I mean, you got the pace from Walker, but then you've also got the midfield capability of Trent. And then you've also got John Stones, which obviously has to play. It definitely makes starting 11 every single time. And then, dude, you know what? I'm, I would start Harry Maguire, you know. I would start Harry Maguire. And I, that, that really, really upsets me to say, but. He does turn it on for England, and his head is massive. 
and somehow manages to get that head behind stuff. He manages to get good goals for England with that massive head. Um, and then, and then you pick, pick Luke Shaw as well, you know. Um, but uh, dude, yeah, not football time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't help it. We're literally talking. We're literally talking about your country this time. It's not about clubs, okay? Even though we did win yesterday 3 1, and I'll take that. But <laughs> we're talking about your country. Alright, box is gone again, man. I'm still I'm still going for Gershies here. I still need a Gersh device. I'll play a little bit longer until we get it and then we'll do a reset here. Unless I get forced into a reset by these zombies. There we go. We are good, we are good. You put Johnny Evans over Maguire? Nah, no way. I'm not saying no way, but no. no way. <laughs> Johnny Evans doesn't have a massive head, man. I'm, I'm, I'm literally using Maguire for his head. That's all I'm using for. <laughs> I'm not using him for his football skills. I'm using him for his head. We're really good at set pieces. England are decent at set pieces, man. Like, especially if you make a few super subs, you like bring key trip on and stuff like that. And you know, you're looking at some really good free kicks. And Maguire's head will work wonders. <laughs> We're still trying to get the freaking Gersh device, dude. Come on. Nice. Right. This is playable. It's a playable game right now. Hugely playable. That was the worst teleport known to man, but we're going to run with it. Yeah, you would play for England anyway. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. <coughs> so. Oh, crap. Don't do that twice, please, Mr. Pizza. Good. Sag, 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 Sag. I don't have a point building weapon. I'm stuck with the fucking hiding, dude. Night Wolf! Hello! Hello! Good to see you inside of the chat, man. Thank you very, very, very much for joining us. Point building weapon, dude. That MP that MP5 staring at my staring at me. I think it's a usable option. The good thing is I don't have to hit the box any more times. So it is literally just opening the final two doors up. MP5 for a thousand points. Would I get my money back on it? Probably. Oh, three point building weapon. Well, ten points. We'll take it though. Give me a point building weapon right now. I'm gonna go and get a revive, and we're looking good. Don't get double. Right, I'm happy with this. I'll go one more here just to see if we can get lucky enough to get another better point building weapon, like a commando or something. That'll do. That will do, Donkey. That will do. That will absolutely do, Donkey. Okay. Let's do this thing. I just need to open the next doors up. I need to save one zombie here, realistically. Realistically, one zombie here. And we're good. Still need points to be able to pack punch the thunder gun. Ah, oh, I flipped around. Feck. Okay, <clears throat> it's fine. Let's go and get a revive, and then we'll get out of here. But this is uh, potentially a better time, actually. It should be a really. We should have a time save here, which is good. As long as I manage to, um, as long as I manage to get fast monkey round after this, we should have a, a time save. Which is obviously better than a time loss. Which is good. Oh crap, nice. Yeah, I just use a thunder gun here. I know we want points, but use a thunder gun to get through. Cool, straight over to the mystery box, and we are golden, dude. Not mystery box, straight over to stamina. <laughs> David, let's go. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy, dude! I love, I love, I love every Derby day. The next, I don't. It's little things that I do that make me happy that no one even notices. So like, I've literally just turned the border to blue. I've turned the likes to blue. I've wrote three one on the board. 
<laughs> just little things, you know. It makes me happy. It's a good stuff. Good stuff. I need one fast around here. I also want the points, though. That's my problem. I want the I want the thousand points or the five k. Got Insta. This could be a round flip. Hopefully, we'll see. Go. Thank you. Please round flip. Please round flip. Please round flip. Liverpool City, dude. I don't know. I don't know. It's make or break for the league, in my opinion. Whoever wins that game will win the league. Yeah. I'm I'm pr I'm pretty certain on that. Whoever wins that game wins the league. Which is rough. Rough to think about. I am gonna obviously bat my club and say City will win. I actually, there's a part of me that actually doesn't think it's going to be that difficult of a game, just with how Liverpool are at the minute. They're great, but, you know, you got very lucky with that last uh, last second goal the other, the other day against Forest, And that shows the extent of your injuries in the squad. You have them. And, and the fact that you're, you're drawing with Forrest until the 98th, 99th minute. I, I, I think... I think I think we're good. I don't know. I, there's a part of me that doesn't want to say it out loud, but... I think we might go to Anfield and get like a 3-0. 3-1. 3, -0, 3, -1, 3 -0. I, Yeah. I don't know. The Foden's so in form. We've got everyone back apart from Grealish, which I noticed a huge difference yesterday without Grealish. Doku's just slightly inexperienced, isn't he? But, um... Just has more control of the game, I think, really. Uh, but no, I, th I think I think we're gonna be fine, you know. We'll see. Go on. <sighs> Got one more zombie round. This is uh very dodgy now, man. This is not good. I think there's a gun here, isn't there? Now we've got we've got basically the exact same time as the last game here, and I need to try and flip through this round pretty like, quickly as well. I think that one hit the sky. Holy crap. Get through this round fast, and we're good still. Oh, wow. Don't get double. Thank you. Come on, see the round through here. See the round through here. We're good, we're good, we're good. Hell yeah. Thank you. Okay, get this round flips and it's gonna be basically the exact same game as last time. Time loss on Ascension, but hopefully time gain on other maps. As long as we get monkeys now. If this isn't monkeys, I have to reset, which ain't good. looking shiny today. I decided to put my light on. I started thinking, let's not be pathetic. I'm being pathetic. I'm being pathetic. So I put my light on, even though I feel uncomfortable, but I put my light on and I'm rolling with it. But my forehead's shiny because I went for a big run this morning. So we got the glare of the forehead because of the fecking run. <laughs> but you know, I'll, I'll, I can take that. I don't mind having a shiny forehead if I'm being healthy. So another minute slower, dude. Another minute slower. Not good. Got one more to do here. I'd spare the rocket. Get on there. We'll be a minute behind. We'll pack punch the thunder gun straight off the bat as well, and then we can instantly teleport. Do I remember what I did for my 24th? No idea. No idea. I remember my 18th birthday, I remember my 16th birthday, I remember my 26th birthday or 27th, and then I remember my 30th and my 31st. But that's it. I don't really remember any other birthdays. I, I remember one when I was like 10. Pardon that though, no, no, I, don't, I have no idea what I did for my 24. No idea.
Yeah, we're gonna be behind by quite a bit now, actually. I'm gonna be like two and a bit, two and a bit minutes behind now. It's fine though. I don't even think you have to do the Lunar Lander, you know. I think BO1, you actually don't need to do Lunar Lander at all. So I'm just gonna let these uh, these monkeys make their way down here. Hopefully get a max ammo and then go straight to stamina up and, and do the orb. And I think we're good then. So yeah, we're gonna be behind by about a minute again. So I don't have to do the Lunar Lander. We just teleport straight there and hopefully get good. But I, I, need, I need a maxi. So I need all the monkeys to get through here. Oh my god. I'm hopeful this is final monkeys. Oh crap, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh my god, I got so lucky. Crap me, dude. Wait, fuck, he died. Nearly died! Nearly died! Come on. Come on. I think this is gonna explode soon, let's see. It's gotta be close, man. Maybe. I don't know. Did we get on here at 850? Oh, it might be a little bit longer then. The old one feels restrictive. It, 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 the movement is definitely more restrictive, but it's also older, so you can understand why. Oh, nice, perfect. That's not so possible. Though. I think it's about to explode. Nice, let's go. That is awful, but I'm just gonna run with it because I can't be bothered to try and get it better. So once again, slightly behind. I'm okay with that though. It's no big deal, man. Call of the Dead might be the absolute savior here, so let's go make our way over here. We good. Bo one doesn't look bad for a stage. I think Bo one's fine. Bo two looks remarkably really good still. There you go. Feel that okay, like a minute and a half behind, minute minute 35. It's no big deal when you're when you're comparing it to the fact that we'll uh It's not a big deal when you think about that we uh Say hello to Sam for me. Not too bad. Call the dead. Call the dead is where we're gonna come back to this and get a sick time. So let's go. Call the dead time, baby. Let's get that hype going inside of the chat right now. We're about to get 300 likes as well. So if you haven't done already, please do smash that like button. I'd massively, massively, massively appreciate it. Call the dead. I got 21 minutes to do this thing. Easily, easily, easily doable, right? So let's freaking go, baby. I'm gonna do call the dead. Then I'm gonna go and get a little drinky poos. A little drinky poos, my friends. A little drinky poos. Let's do it. Whew, you'd love to see me play God of War. <laughs> it's not my style of game, dude. It's not my style of game. I don't think I'll ever, ever do that. But this month alone, we're going to be at least streaming Battlefront. The new Battlefront collection, the Star Wars Battlefront collection. And then uh, we're going to be streaming the new South Park game as well. Which I believe drops on the 26th as well. So, um, yeah. Fingers crossed, dude. Fingers crossed. We uh, get it early as well, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. About to get this dub, I hope so. What mystery box did we get? Oh god, is that back of boat? Yikes, that's made it a little bit more difficult. Back of boat mystery box, but oh well, we, we roll with it, I guess. Um, let's get all the Easter egg steps done with the M14, and, uh, and then I guess we have to go to the back of the boat. Got the worst mystery box spawn. The worst mystery box spawn right there. Oh well, oh well. We go with it. It's what this super run's all about, baby. You gotta take it. You gotta take what you get. Onyx, big shout out to you, man. Good to see you inside of the chat. Ooh, yeah, Ladcam. I see it. Ladcam's live, dude. It's live. If you want me to say the word, you just put it inside of the chat. Ladcam. There you go. It's live, lad. <laughs> I activated it at the start of the live stream. We are good to go. We're good to go on that front. You put it inside of the chat. You make me read that word out. Go full screening, baby. Go full screening. <laughs> Oh my fucking god. I had a lovely run before. It was freaking fantastic. It was it was nice as well, dude. Like it, it was like almost perfect weather for running. Like it was maybe slightly cold. Slightly. Like I had to tuck my uh 
And to tuck my hands into my uh, my jumper. Well, technically, my running my running jumper like has handholds with little things on. So, yeah, I had to tuck them in. Slightly cold. Apart from that, it was great. The weather was like a nice sun and stuff. Brilliant. Pizza, what game would I recommend for the first speedrun? First speedrun of zombies? Uh, I don't really know. Something, something that's short, maybe. I don't know. Like, BO1 is really good. BO3 is, is also pretty good because the movement is nice there. Uh, I just saw that you got a sub 20 on AWGG. That's brilliant. It's really, really good. I think anyone even attempts into speedrun AW needs a clap, dude. So, GG. I don't mind it either. I, that, that is a game that I'm going to put effort into as well and get even better at because. My, I think I'm th either third or fifth in the world on Super Easter Egg on that game. I think it might be third, you know. I don't, I don't know. But I, I do need to get it better. Because it's, uh, the difference between third and first is like over an hour, which is unreal. So I do need to put a diff, a bit of time and effort onto that game. But now let's focus on some other stuff first, eh? I don't think anyone's in a rush to watch me play AW for a week straight to get better at maps. Unless you are, I mean, fair play. Great. <laughs> Dude, the double swipe is so funny. And like with BO1, like mail like me meleeing sometimes doesn't even activate, and that's what happened there. My uh my melee didn't actually hit the zombie, unfortunately. Oh, let's get another revive right now and we should be good. Y'all talking inside of the chat about? Who didn't take a joke? Good. <laughs> well, we're looking all right. Let's go. Weird south again here on this map. Not great. It's that, it's having mystery box at the back of the boat has really put a spanner in the works. Get this final one and then get that. Right, let's go. I'm gonna grab the M14. It's the only way forward. Is there a super easter egg on BO1? Yeah, I think, like, in the community, we call it super eggs when it's, like, a collection of easter eggs. So, the, the, the four maps. There doesn't have to be a reward to be considered a super easter egg. Apart from the games that does have a reward, you know, like Cold War and BO3 and BO2. But in the community, you can call a super egg just a completion of all maps on that game. In a row with no resets. Jeez, uh, man. Oh my. How? How is that even possible? Oh my god. I'm on a two hit down, brother, and that. How? Did I just survive that? I don't know. What the hell, dude? Right. Let me. I need to go make my way over to the. Uh, to go and do the first couple of steps, I guess. I feel like we should probably flip around and utilize that on the next round, you know? So we're gonna have to do another round anyway, because the mystery box is over in the back of the boat, which ain't great. Oh, dude, screw it. Let's get it now. Let's get some melees in. Oh god, yeah, this is this is good. All right, good stuff. Go, 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 go. We're out of here, dude. That 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 was good training skills in my opinion. That was great. Let's go. Let's go. Um, Jesus. I got dark quick. Which 
<laughs> saw a comment inside the chat going, what does he mean by last Super Easter egg speedrun? Is he dying or something? I'll tell you what, man. If I found out tomorrow that I was dying, I would not be sat here playing Black Ops 1 Zombies in the middle of a day. I'd be doing something productive. <laughs> So, no, I'm gonna say I, I don't think I am. I'm gonna hopefully not uh, Anytime soon, but hey, you never know. You never know <laughs> My god, dude <laughs> Dark quick Let's go, let's run out of Oh crap Nice Nice. Okay, we're looking beautiful. We're looking beautiful. Yeah, VR 11 soon. VR 11 soon. We're on, we've got the worst mystery box. We've got 13 minutes to finish this. I think, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I think I, sh I should see most of this round out here, I reckon. And just try and maximize some points. So I'm not stuck at the back of the boat hitting the mystery box. We'll get cornered and die. Let me just stay here for a little bit. Maybe get a double point. Train up. Train up and get myself uh, some more M14 ammo. Know? Let's go. Crap. Oh, crap. Right, yeah, another revive. This is rough, man. Having it at the back of the map has ruined this entire thing. We'll see. No. I've got 4,000 points. I think I think I can get to the box with that, but I don't know if I can buy it. Oh, I might be able to get, like, one hit. This is my very last revive as well, which I can't believe because it's only freaking round six. We're good. We're good. Go. Nice. Good double points. Good double points. I think we focus on the mystery box because the zombies are getting way too strong for the M4 scene. Go, go, go. I tell you what, have we got, a, we got zombies? I've got no grenades anyway. Yeah, let's dip. Let's go. Let's go. Straight to the back of the map, man. We need that VR 11. If you guys can spawn RNG inside of the chat right now, that's all I need. All I need, I need to get that spam of RNG inside of the chat because it, it's going to happen, man. I got four hits right here. Maybe five. Five hits. Come on. I had to play this map differently, but we're going to time save. And I need you guys to spam RNG right now. It's happening. Come on. Come on. VR 11. Ooh, I will take that scavenger all day of the week, brother. All day of the week, but it's not what I want. But it will do the job at the end of the Easter egg for me. And that is not what we want. Come on. Come on. I see the RNG, man. I see the RNG. We're looking beautiful. We got this. Oh, dude, one off? Sucks. Do not like that. Do not like that at all. I'm going to take that. Just to do the grenade things easier. Literally don't even have to try with it, I guess. Oh, but point building. Oh, the scavenger can do it. Yeah, let's do that. Scavenger can basically do it all for me. Right, we still need the VR 11, man. And I've got 10 minutes. We're fine. We're still fine on time. If I can get it soon, but the scavenger can get rid of all these red things for me, I guess. Hey, what? Why are you in such a hurry? Hopefully that did the job there. If not, oh, dude, it didn't, really. <laughs> well, it was a really, really good-looking tactical snipe. Probably missed that as well. Could really do with an insta kill. Really badly. I'm gonna 
the train down the back here. Oh, Carpenter. I would have taken any drop apart from Carpenter, and we got a freaking yeah, double swipe, man. This isn't good. Then we're going back to Ascension, boys. Then we're going back to Ascension! I don't know what to do. I don't know how we're going to deal with this situation. Let me get this anyway. 200 points, man. We're on a map where 200 points is actually really important right now. We save one zombie at the end of this round, I guess, if we make it there. Yeah, go with that. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do I prefer this map or tag? Tag the toe and has more content. So if I was stuck on a desert island, I'd pick tag over this. But I think I prefer playing this. You know what I mean? So I'd... Depends what scenario. Desert island, tag, day to day, this. Oh, we freaking did it? Let's go, dude. Okay, I have, I do not have Jug. This is rough, man. I don't, I've not done any of the, the orbs. I do not have Jug, either. Did I get that? Did I finish that? I did get that, right, so there's one more. There's, uh, there's the one over the left-hand side that I still need to do naturally, I guess. Which is fine. Let's get inside of here. Let's just try and play this smartly and just use the scavenger. We can do this. We could potentially time save here. We could potentially time save here. I just need to be a little bit careful. Because it did just flip. The round flipped around eight. This ain't good. I can't just casually leave. I've, not, I've got two wonder weapons, which... Aren't oh, good. I have no jug. I have no PhD. I have to play this very carefully and just save a couple of zombies, you know? Do I have recommendations on PCs? Always custom buy it. Have it custom built. Have a look at what, 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 what your budget is and then figure out what CPU you want. Just have a, have, a, have a look at what graphics card you want, what motherboard you want, what, what operating system you want. So it's all preference, but I always have it custom made. Never buy one. You gotta bet. You got you save so much money by having them custom built. Yeah, we're just gonna stay here for a little bit longer, and then we're dipping. How are we looking? Are we saying we're near the end of the round? I don't think we are. But if I can save one zombie without flipping. We're good. I see a zombie here. Okay, let me go. Let me go and get these. I, I don't know if we've got enough money though. To uh, two doors, uh, three, three doors, two doors, three. It's gonna be close. One, two, go. Missed it. Let's go scavenger instead. Hopefully that does the job. Yeah, good. Right, we're out of here. I might have to do another round, regardless. If not, then we're, we're looking really good. Get revive? I don't have any. I used them all. Can't believe it. I've used every revive. Yeah, we've got enough money. We've got enough money. Huh. I think. Yeah. That's good. I don't know if I got that. If I did, cool. If not, it doesn't matter. I'll use a grenade. I think the final bit of this Easter egg is going to be tough. One, two, three, throw. Oh, crap. One, two, three, throw. Got it. <laughs> that was annoying, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, let's go. We're looking good. I could, this could be, we might actually finish this a little bit ahead, you know. Not the worst game. Considering... Everything that we had here. All right, so that's all of them done. Let's go on melee. We're gonna have a good. If I don't die here, you're looking at two minutes, surely. All right, the domes are in little bitty pieces. What do you need now? Surely we're looking at two minutes here. As long as I don't get double swiped at any point. Get 
Nice. I didn't flip the round either. We've still got one zombie. Oh, we're good. We're done. We're PB'd. We're PB'd. Just don't get double hit. We're fine. Okay, chat. We're on a run here. We're run. A run. And I'm hoping we can see it through. We got Shangri La and Moon still coming up, though. Shangri La and Moon still coming up. Okay, let's go. Okay, you got your lights, you got your power, you got your staff, anything else you want to add? Let's see it there. That's it. You guys gonna help us out now? There you go. Three, two, one. Three minutes. We're a minute behind. Dude, we would be five minutes ahead right now. That's freaking great. Hell yeah, baby! Hell yeah, baby! That's what we like to see. Emmett coming in right now with a 28-month membership renewal saying, Hey, Pizza, it's been a while. If I may ask... I got you. Why is this your last Super Easter Egg stream? Great question. I mean, it's the title of the stream, right? So it's always going to cause people to react in different ways and ask different questions. So let's address that. If you guys have just uh, joined the live stream and you're wondering that for yourself, here's the reason why. We've been doing the exact same thing on the channel for a long time, doing Super Runs for a long, long time. And I've, you know, we've been PBing a lot and getting better times all the time. But I'm, I, I've found that I'm getting, I'm doing super runs now, streaming super runs and being frustrated a lot because I'm not, I feel like I'm just not achieving anything because I'm constantly doing the same thing. And then, oh, if I could go on a really lucky, unlucky month, like we have done, where I've not PB'd in like a month. And it's like, what is going on here? And it's down to the fact that, you know, I can keep doing these over and over and over again, and I get better in terms of stuff that I'm learning at the moment, but I need to focus on individual maps and getting better at all the individual maps so that we can return to Super Easter Eggs when we master them all. So we're not like, we're not, we're not gonna be quitting streaming. We're still gonna be streaming every single day here on YouTube, but we're gonna be focusing on like, let's say for example, tomorrow, our live stream tomorrow, and we start working on, you know, focusing on Origins BO3, right? All our time into Origins BO3. And then at the end of this week, when we're incredible at that map, after three live streams of it and got better and better and better over three streams, and I will absolutely have done time saves there and learn a new strategy, learn the new route and stuff, and can then do one final run of it on Friday, or Thursday this week, tomorrow Friday, and you guys are gonna be like, holy crap, he's done good, he saved time, which means that when we finally do go back to our super run of Chronicles, we'll PB straight away, which is great. It also means that by not me learning new stuff, you guys are learning new stuff, and at the end of each week, I can start thinking about putting together a video of how to speed run Origins Black Ops 3. And then, as long, uh, along with that, I could do a brand new Easter egg guide as well, if it needs an updated one. Well, new tips and tricks have been found. So I think in, I, I'd be able to do videos and stuff. I, it just seems good. Feels really, really good. So, happy days, dude. Should be good. We're excited. There we go. You should bring back Mythbusting Monday. It is. It's coming back. It can't come back right now because we have absolutely no content that I can make Mythbusting episodes on. But it absolutely is coming back in terms of this channel. It will be back. When Call of Duty Gulf War drops in October, expect Mythbusting Mondays to be a thing every single week for the foreseeable at that point, okay? Hell yeah, gonna smash it. Right, we got Shangri-La coming up, and I, I, weirdly, look at that, I've got over an hour to do this. Over an hour. But first things first, I need a fucking drink, dude. So keep yourself occupied inside of the chat right now. Uh, I'm gonna get chat inside of this, on, the, on the screen. You guys can spam as much as you want, do as much as you want, see yourself inside of the chat as much as you want, but I'm gonna go and get a drink. Before I go, I found a new box of Revelations posters. I have 50 of these available. I'm gonna do it for the next 20 days, just so I don't get too ahead of myself. But the next 20 streams, the top donor of the stream gets a Revelations poster. This is all exclusive artwork, only I have this. Um, if you want this, uh, you gotta be top donor, so at the minute, Codename Life is top of the 31, 49, and we're gonna do it for the next 20 live streams, okay? And you just get it sent to you for being top donor. So I appreciate you a lot. I'll be back in one sec. I need a drink. I need a whiz. And uh, I'll see you in a sec.
Hell yeah, dude. Right. We got a cheeky drink, boy. A poo break. I've only ever done one poo on stream. Not on stream. <laughs> That'd be weird. I've only gone off to do do it once on stream. Ever. But that was not one. That would been if it would have been, that would have been a very fast poops. But uh nah, just a little whiz. And some water. I'm not opening the cup for the snake just because. Filled it too high. But we got two maps left, man. And it's always good, you know, going onto these maps. I know these maps are always questionable how they're going to turn out with RNG and such, but going into a map with five minutes plus, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. Are you ready for some Shang? I think we are. Put inside of the chat right now how many hit uh, hits on the mystery box it's going to be to get the baby maker. My boy Bailey inside of the chat is normally pretty pretty nailed on with this. He's normally a pretty nailed on kind of guy when it comes to uh, the guesses of this. So, Bailey, if you think you know, you tell me, baby. You tell me, but we're going for this right now. Shangri-La, baby. First two maps of the day are now complete. We're on 334 likes, so thank you very, very much. Let's go. Have I considered member only drops for merch? Oh, I like it. Like, you've literally got, like, your own Coding Pizza members, like, special thing. Have I ever considered it? No. Am I considering it now? Yes. Legend. Let's freaking go, dude. Six hits, 17 hits, three hits, two hits. This is the run. Oh, my God. Two hits? Wow. I like that. I like that a lot. Let's freaking go. You ready? Three, two, one. Let's do this thing. Woo, baby. I'm not risking anything. We go for quick revive. <laughs> of course I'm not risking anything, dude. Straight for the quickie right now. Straight for quick revive. What up, chat? What up, code name, Mr. Paul? Appreciate you, dude. The quicker we can get these round flips, the better. Which mystery box we got? Oh, crap. It's my least favorite mystery box. Dude, I mean, you get you get two. You're either going to be down there at the waterfall or you're going to be over the right-hand side here. The right-hand side is so much better. So much better. But I guess it is what it is, man. It is what it is. We've had the, we've got the worst mystery box RNG of position on Call of the Dead. So, you know, we can take it for this as well. We still managed to finish Call of the Dead ahead, so. We'll see how this goes. I also liked how I had to play Call of the Dead at the end there really, really, really carefully. And we somehow managed to do it still, so we're good. We're invested. I'm invested with the speedrun right now. My boy Nick inside of the chat right now. My boy, let's freaking go with the five gifted members. Hell yeah, dude. I think that's 15 gifted members that we've had inside of the chat today. That's insane. Thank you very, very much. 15 gifted members. Hell yeah, dude. Y'all are crushing it. Thank you very much, Nick. If you did end up getting it, please make sure you say thank you inside of the chat right now. It's my boy, Nick. I appreciate that a lot, man. Thank you so, so much. And chat, enjoy your uh, your gifted membership if you did end up getting one from Nick. What a freaking legend, dude. What a freaking legend. I probably should have saved that for the next round. Oh, where's the monkey at? Oh, missed him. Missed him. I would have got 500 freaking points. That's how you get all the money on this map, man, by meleeing freaking monkeys. I forgot. I gotta get another one. Gotta get another one. I will have to melee this one. I want the free 500. Are they coming? I feel like they're not coming. No, they're not coming. I wanted the free 500, dude. Maybe this round. Maybe we get lucky on this round. We'll see. Thank you, Nick. Appreciate it, lover. So, we've still got Carpenter to be had, and we've still got a Nuke to be had, and we've still got a Double Points to be had. We've had Insta, we've had Maxi. We've had Insta, we've had Maxi. I'm really, really hopeful. Hopefully we get a double points on this round, actually. It's the last round where I can really maximize melees and stuff. Kind of want it on the next round now, because this round's thinning out. If we get a nuke to finish this round, I'll take that. Or maybe we're not going to get any drop on this round. Better start looking for some lead. 
We can go get power on soon though. That is a double, dude. If I melee a monkey, it's a thousand points, and that is necessary. Did I pick it up too quick? I think I picked it up too quick to get a monkey, unfortunately. Yeah, let's just wait here one more second just to be able to uh, at least get a couple of kills, maybe with the double points. And we'll dip. I don't think we're gonna get a couple of kills here. Ooh. You got one, two. Go one, two. I uh, missed the double points on this guy. Oh well, let's dip. I'm gonna get out of here, man. We're gonna go and get the power room. Uh, do we want the whole map open so I can get a? So I can go ahead and try and get a, a weapon for the mystery box. So, hmm. I don't know how we're gonna play this yet, just because it's we got the wrong mystery box location that I normally typically like. We'll see though. But thank you very much. You're so close to 350 likes, chat. Y'all have crushed it today. And I appreciate that a lot. Y'all have really made this a freaking wonderful stream so far. So thank you very, very, very much. All right, that is both power on. That means that we are gonna get Napalm on round five now. Napalm round five is on the cards. Which means. Which basically means it means nothing really because I'm not gonna get the baby maker before then am I so crap that's never good all right well he's exploded anyway so we're a little bit safer there I need to somehow get a revive and not die now without having a weapon Let's get back to I do not have a weapon we got any zombies down here no good good Okay, this is us. Get out of here. Get out of here. The news kind of flip. We are gonna get an A-palm now. I think we do. Yeah, I think we do AK revive. Before jug soon. Just kind of set up. I think Shang is that map that you just need to be fully set up for. So I think we now just save for jug. Get step one done even. Probably do step one now actually. I forgot you better hit all four. Let's go and do step one. And then we'll get Juxi. I don't think- do I have to do anything on this thing? I, I think you just ignore the step. I think you just activate it and it does it. I think, maybe? I can't really remember how you do this. I think it's done. There you go. Alright, give me a monkey. Give me a monkey that I can melee. Melee monkey, where are you at? Ah, I missed it. Dude, I missed the fucking 500 again. Dude. Nice. And another monkey as well. Ah, I missed him again! Dude, I'm normally so nailed on with the monkey melees, but this round, my god. Okay, at least I've got the points. Uh, I say we do step two. Uh, bye, Jug Daughter. Yeah, screw it, man. We're doing it. I'm getting Jug. I'm getting Jug. I'm getting Jug. Better to be way better to be safe on this map. We're getting Jug. Safe options, man. Safe options. Let's go. Straight up top we go. We can go into Eclipse mode because I can do step two now. One, two. Three, four, do it again. There you go. Okay. Straight over to step two, and then we need to hit for that baby maker. Some of y'all inside of the chat said baby maker would be second hit. Second hit. I'm not believing it until I see it, but I would take it. Dude, second hit would be unreal. Runs haven't been too bad today. This is the first time that I've made it to Shang today, though, so we'll see. Go on. Go on. Go on. Brilliant. Right, that's all done. We now just need to get ourselves the baby maker. I cannot go any further in this Easter egg without the baby maker. So we're aiming to get the baby maker. Chat, this is where we need the RNG inside of the chat. This is where we need the look inside of the chat. That's why I need you guys to be hot on the W's. I need non-stop RNG and look inside of the chat right now. 
while we go and try and get the freaking baby maker. Also, my goodness, I am stuck in an area again, again, with no bullets. The only benefit here is, uh, the only good thing is that I have Jug, but what? What the hell, dude? Oh my god, dude, I'm hoping I can train basically the entire round here. So I can go and buy more AK ammo and then see everything through. There you go, just buy AK ammo. Okay, I see the RNG. I see the RNG. How am I doing, pizza? Oh, dude, I am doing good, Mr. Sneaky. I am doing good, good sir. I am feeling great. Obviously, say one yesterday, which is why I'm feeling also extra special good. But. Okay, we're after double points. We're after double points. Go up there, and we're after double. I'm gonna go for free perk here. Mule kick! Oh, gross! I would've taken anything. I would've taken- I probably should've gone with double points, actually. <laughs> double points would've been way better than that. Oh, well, at least we can maybe have the bait maker on the ray gun or something. It is what it is. Right, we're going, we're going, we're going to have an official go on the mystery box right now. We're going to open up this way down here. Okay. Mystery box. I would have taken, actually, dude, any perk apart from that or dead shot I would have been happy with. Not great. Dude, Rash, dude, Rashford goal was great. It annoyed me, obviously, but it was a really good goal. Oh, and we can't have any, we can't actually have a goal on the mystery box, so another round to go. Another round to go here. Let's go and get some more AK ammo. Milk is goated. <laughs> oh, no, man. I don't know, man. Out no. I'm still looking great, man. We've only been on the map 10 minutes, and we've pretty much opened the entire map up. Um, and I'm ready to hit the mystery box. Everything I earn on this round right now will be mystery box. Absolutely. Every bit of dollar now is mystery box dollar. You only get Mule Kick as your free perk reward, like, ever. <laughs> yeah, true. It's the only perk that exists, apparently, when you can get free, free perks. I'm just gonna stick around here a little bit. And every- we're gonna have, like, two hits on the mystery box after the end of this round, I guess. Oh, that is perfect. Melee the monkey, please. If I see a monkey, I melee it a thousand points. Flamer is in! Flamer is in. Thousand points? Hell yeah, dude, that was a great thousand points. Right, Flamer is in the map right now. I'm gonna nuke it. Gonna nuke the round. I don't. It's not actually gonna flip the round though. It is round seven. There's still gonna be some zombies left, which is good for us. Oh, right, flip! Jesus. Hopefully we can maintain that flaming. And if I get if I get the the wonder weapon now, then hell yeah, let's go. I'm gonna I'm gonna make my way out of here right now. I'm gonna have to stay inside of this area though, which is rough. But I also just need a better weapon for round eight. Right, baby maker time. Baby maker time. That'll do. That will absolutely do. I tell you what, though. I tell you what, though. They, we are playing. We are playing right now. The one and only Shangri-La. And for me, for me, who then gets a ray gun, I think the safe option is to buy PhD. It's a map that, you know, it's risky as hell for the half of the time, but... I may as well make it less risky and get myself something that'll actually help us out a little bit. And I know it's 2,000 points, and that's expensive as hell when you're trying to hit the mystery box for stuff. But for no splash damage... Oh my god. And the potential of getting a fat dub with that as well. I'll take it. Is the na- I don't know if the napalm's still alive on it. I think that was the play. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know. Do you think I did the smart thing by doing that? Or do you think I should have just hit, hit a mystery box two more times? You know? I don't know. I can't do anything. The flamer is still in there. Let's, let's try and save. I'm going to save the flamer. I'm not going to pick up the nuke. I may as well utilize the nuke if I can. I don't even know what I want here. Probably, I'll take a max ammo actually. Oh no, I'll take an insta kill. Maybe. 
Take an insta. Get some melees on the go. Try and... Oh, God. I didn't realize that. Okay, but that's not good. Well, let's go and keep hitting the mystery box. I think I did the right thing. PhD for clutch. Yeah, I, th I think so. I think we did the smart thing there, man. So we got Baby Maker now. You know, take some ammo here as well. Why not? And now it's all Baby Maker. I can't do anything until we get a Baby Maker. You also have to be aware that on BO1 Shank, the higher rounds you get, the way more difficult it goes. Like, it gets really tough. So we want Baby Maker soonish. And we have somehow managed to maintain Napalm, which is great. Dude, there was a part of me that thought that was the Wonder Weapon. I couldn't see it, obviously, because I was kind of blinded, but it was only ever going to be a Sniper Rifle or the Wonder Weapon that can do Oh my god, we got Running Flamer. Alright, see, see Running Flamer. Well, we'll have to get a different... We'll have to do it again at some point. I do like that, though. They've even coded it correctly that the Flamer's Flames don't stick around when you get it in the water, obviously. They're clever. Really clever. Alright. So we've officially had multiple hits now. Oh my god! Let's freaking go, boy! Let's go, boy! Let's go, boy! Okay, good stuff. Let's freaking go. Let's go. Oh my god. I was about to say, well, we've had multiple hits now. No one was right. Dude, 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 dude! Let's go. I will have to flip until we get another flamey, though. But we've had him for multiple rounds now, so he might actually respawn next round, you know. The mystery box was very nice there, you know. If you look at what I got, I got a sniper rifle, which I didn't want, but I got the ray gun first hit and the baby make a third hit. Was that third? It's pretty good. And I'm pretty certain I put this as my first weapon as well, so even better. Okay, we gotta flip rounds now. We gotta flip rounds. We're looking beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Right, let's see. That's wrong. You can remember this for me, by the way. <clears throat> we'll find this order. It's incorrect as well. It's two incorrect in a row. Let's try this one, and then we just know for later. Okay, that's right. So we got middle on this side. Um, spawn as well. Middle, spawn. Middle spawn mud. Middle spawn mud, and then one of these at the bottom. Okay, so that's good. We know the order. It's pretty good. I do not know my final zombies though. I have no idea where the final zombie is. <clears throat> I need to play the round. Um, I also need to get this as well for some point. Let's, play. Awesome. Let's get the round flipped. How often am I, am I live streaming? I stream every single day. Every single weekday. Dude, I have no idea where the final zombie is. Can find this boy, then we've got a decent time on our hands with a decent time save as well. And then it's all down to good old moon. What a way to go out though, right? The final super egg stream in a while and I might PB. Long way to go though. Don't want to get my hopes up yet. I'm really happy I didn't activate the eclipse. I was going to activate it and then I was like, no, 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 no. We won't do it yet. Dude, where the hell is this zombie? Am I playing on PC? Always PC. Well, that's locked up, so it's not that. Dude, I actually have no idea where this guy is. Okay, that's correct. So we've got down here. We've got bottom, bottom, mud, middle, and spawn. Okay, I know the full order.
I can hear him. Okay, let's go with this. Let's do it again. Nice, let's go. I'm really hoping it doesn't spawn in. I forgot that I needed to do the dial here, so I need to go over to the dial now. Yeah, thank you very much, Hype. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, there's the four. Right, we need a flamer. Need a flamer. Shit smells flammable. I could have just waited until we had one. BO1's a little bit easier with that. BO3 is a lot more difficult to uh, keep the flamer alive, so I always like to activate it early. Let's just flip through this round, I guess, and hope to get a flamer in the start of the next round. We're looking good. I'm feeling positive about the run so far. Just get the round flips again. The quicker we get the round flip, the faster I might be able to get a flamer. In. Perfect, right, let's go. Come on, flamer. Come on, flamer. Come on, flamer. Come on, flamer. Let's go. And we got the money to pack a bunch as well, which is great. Can you remind me in like 20, can you set alarm to like 25 minutes to turn my air conditioning back on? It's just got a little bit too cold. So I've turned it off real quick. But I need to turn it back on before it overheats the camera. Right, flame is in. Flame is in. Flame is in. I don't know where he is, but he's in the map right now. I think he's probably spawned over here to the right hand side. I would assume, but we'll see. Yeah, he's there. Good, 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 good. Just getting following us and we should be fine here, I reckon. I think we're gonna do it with enough time left, which will be nice. There you go, first thing's done. Nice. Dude, PhD was such a shout. Now you're looking at it and looking at the gameplay. Yeah, I think theoretically I'm playing a little bit more riskier than I would be if I didn't have it. But, you know, like, you can totally see that PhD is a lifesaver. A hundred percent. Like, I, I don't know, because I've had to push it to some higher rounds right now trying to get the flamer in. I think it was a really, really great shout getting it. Yeah, absolutely. You thinking about sending me Australian snacks? Oh, nice. GG's. I need to open a new P.O. box, man, but they're just so freaking expensive where I live. It's like 600 and something pounds per, per, I think, I think it's 350 per six months. Which is mental. Okay, I need this to get lit and then that should be it. And theoretically... If I can save that, I need to I can run past him without him blowing up. Nah, I blew up. Okay, that's done. I think I've only got one zombie left, so I need to flip around. Yeah, that's fine. Right, that's done. Let's go. Okay, next step. I need to get a max ammo on this round at some point, but I think I just had one. Um, but we'll go straight on to it. We'll see. There you go. Let's go. He's gonna be learning BO3 Origins. You have so much fun with the RNG. It's mainly to learn the new route. And then, you know, you can look into that. But as long as I, you know, I can look into the, it's a, in the RNG, yeah, it will be horrible, but. If I learn the new route, then I'm already ahead of the game, in my opinion. Right, that's plugged. Should it also be plugged now? Now I need a maxi. Or oh, flip the round. Either a max ammo or a round flip right now, because I've still got that one and this one to go. 
So a max ammo or a round flip. I need to be careful with the ray gun ammo and keep... Oh, 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 I'll tell you what we could do. Let's not get a nuke. Let's wait for the, uh, the monkeys to get inside of him. And get the monkeys to turn that nuke into a maxi. There you go. What is it going to be? It's going to be insta, then carpenter, then double, then max ammo. Thank you very much. Great play. Really, really, really good play right there. We're going to back it up like a Tonka truck real quick. Straight back inside of there. I'm going to activate. Oh, and we got a traditional max ammo as well. <laughs> Hilarious, dude. There you go. Right, that should be all done. On an insta. Yeah, they're all done, dude. Looking good. Okay, round flip. Unfortunately. Didn't really want a round flip, but we're looking great, man. This is a great game, and I think a decent time save is about to happen, you know. I think we're looking at another really good time save. Have I had Australian snacks before? Yeah, I've had like Tim Tams. They were pretty good. Whoop. There you go. We're back in the okay. Back. Run our melees, man. This is so much fun. They keep on dying in such creative ways. Nice. Three. This. this is looking great. Four. Nice. Let's chill out for a sec. Reagan's saving our asses, so you know. I need to remember I've still got that one to do. Right, I'll come back. We'll come back and get those. Let's just focus on getting the ones that I can get. Just running around the map real quick. We should be fine. Vegemite. I think we I think Marmite is basically the same. We have Marmite here. I like Marmite. Marmite's pretty good. Definitely an acquired taste, but I have that acquired taste. I like it. Nice. GG's. Up top we go. Up top we go. Thank you very much. Bottom mud, middle spawn. GG's. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Got a little bit to go yet, but thank you, thank you, thank you. to flip any more rounds, which is good. Okay, cool. Let's get these final ones. Got that one. Got, that one. Got this one. And is that it? I don't know if that's it. Oh, this one. There you go. The last one. one, two, three, throw. Awesome. Perfect. Let's go. Huge dubs, dude. Huge dubs. I don't have to flip any more rounds. If I save a zombie here, we're finished with the Easter egg and I've successfully basically done it, which is great. There you go, that's done. Get rid of this guy. Thank you very much. Get rid of the flamer as well. Don't really want him inside of the map. You might end up killing those crawlers though. Ah, they're probably not fast enough actually. Let's go. Next step. Good time save coming up, dude. Hey, watch out for the spikes, man. Got value. Perfect so some schlag. How did they know the code now? I guess he doesn't care what I have to say. Okay, you ready? Four. Three. Bottom mill spawn, got you. One. Sixteen. Wait, that did it. Right, let's do bottom bottom. Let's do it all now, actually. Bottom. Dude, we're looking great, dude. We're looking great! Mud, middle, spawn. And I need to pack a punch as well. And then as soon as we've done that, we'll leave the spawn one, I guess. Bottom, mud. We'll, we'll do spawn. And then we'll uh, we'll do middle uh, uh, last. Damn it, fighter. Let me go in. Pack punch real quick. What have you missed? You missed a hell of a good Shang run, to be honest. If you just popped up. 
I don't need to, but I'm going to pack punch the ray gun just in case as well. Just in case. You never know. Just in case. I had enough points to do it. Worth it. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four. Let's go. They are indeed. I just need to hit middle. Uh, do I need to do them all in this mode? Middle. Spawn. I didn't realize I had to do them all again. And then bottom, and then they're all done then. And we're good to go. And some big shot team, I'm good to see you. There you go, we're good. Let's head back. It's not 30 minutes, but it's freaking close with 30 minute time save, you know. I don't know which pack a punch we've got. I wish we, I wish we had a uh, spawn. Let's get the dynamite. Got it. Got it. Nice. Let's go. Right. PAP, dude. PAP. Give me a good PAP. Hell, that was cool. Nope. Meteor struck and fell into that chamber. Well, we've either got spawn. Oh, we've either got a uh, waterfall or pack punch. Let's see. No pack punch. This one. No, it's not that one. So here's this one over here. Go, 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 go. This is a nice run, dude. It's going to give us an hour and a half for moon. It's incredible scenes. Kind of look crazy looking at moon there, and I got it in an hour. An hour for BO1 moon is very respectful, my goodness. Yeah, it's nice, the final one right there, seeing us through. I wonder if we're going to have fast finish here as well. Chat, if you haven't done already, please do click that like button. We are on a good old run right now. We are on a good run, chat. If you haven't done already, please do smash that like button. I'd massively, massively, massively appreciate it. And we're ready to go over to Moon in a second as well. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Go on. Are you ready to take... There you go. Are we going to get fast finish? Let's see if we get fast finish. Fast finish? Nice, let's go. 29 minutes ahead, baby! That is freaking good. I don't know, man. I think that's good. I think that's great. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. We did well there. Let's go make our way over to Moon. Holy crap, man. Holy crap, dude. Let's go. Best thing you can do. Get the QEDs again. Dude, if I got it, that'd just be nuts. Nuts. This, this is magical, man. If you haven't done already, you smash that freaking like button. Get that thing up to 400 right now. Also, for the next 20 live streams, we're giving away the Revelations posters as top donor rewards. So whoever is top donation at the end of the live stream will be getting this regardless for the next 20 days because I found another box of them and we have them right here. So if you want it, you can get it. Simple as that. You just be top donor every single day. No pressure, no big deal. And the minute's coming in live with a 31 and I appreciate that a lot, good sir. Thank you very, very, very much. Without further ado, also, I do have world record on this at the minute, so if we get this, this is a new world record. Also, I have to reset until we get Ricky. I keep forgetting that. Oh, we got Ricky first go. Okay, let's do this thing. Let's go, dude. Woo! Okay. Risky or non-risky? Risky or non-risky? Oh, I would love to say risky. To be fair, it doesn't matter if you die, you're just not allowed to reset the timer anymore. So if I do end up dying here... By doing risky method, it's just gonna add to the time. It's not the end of the run if I die right now. It's just a waste of a minute, I guess, if I died right now. Risky or non-risky? I think risky, dude. I think risky. I've got enough time to justify a riskier run right now, I think. 
I just want 4K or just shy of 4K. I want to be able to open every door up. We can open all the doors up. Um, we're living the dream, realistically, aren't we? Hopefully, Yags pay a pie early. 2000. Nice. 2002. Let's get a nice train over here. 2005. 2008. And finally, after this nade, should be well on our way to, uh, right, I'm just gonna go now. And we're gonna be short on points. Just, but I don't mind doing an extra round, it's fine. Okay, cool. I'm gonna let the zombies come in, actually, and then after that, we, we should have enough. I'm just save one zombie, we're fine. We're good. We're good. We didn't have to die, which is nice. Hayden with a 33 month membership renewal. Thank you very much. Saying, been ages since I caught Elijah. I hope you and the fam. I'm good, brother. Thank you very much, Mr. Hayden. Legendary man. Legendary man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am going to let the zombies in. Actually, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Just in case we got a nuke, that would not be good. One more zombie here, and then we leave. And I'm not going to flip the round. I just want to get out of here. Actually, we got to. Oh, forget this. Eight zombies on round one on the moon. Or on BO1. All right, let's go. Let's get out of here, boy. This is it. This is a huge, huge, huge freaking game right now. It's huge game. I'm very happy that I didn't die there, and it meant that the run is fully, fully, fully fledged all the way through. But we need fast excavator pie, and I need a good old mystery box at some point, but no mystery box is there. We got a bad mystery box spawn for BO1 anyway. I'm not too bothered on BO3, but for BO1... Not as good, but it means I can go and do step one. I can get round two and three done over here and then make our way to the mystery box when we get an excavator going. What was that blue? Blue, 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 blue. Okay, nice. Blue one. Blue, red, green. Blue, red, green. Or oh, three, one, two. Three, one, two, one. 3 one 2 one 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 3 4 3 one 2 one 3 4 BO1 BO1 moon or BO3 moon? No more ammo. That's a good question, sir. Uh, BO3 moon? BO, BO1 moon has the best ending in any map ever, in my opinion. BO3 moon's the same, but you know, this is where it all happened. Um, I think BO1 moon is better. Yeah, just. I think BO3 moon looks way gorgeous. Like, it's incredibly looking, right? They, they had the biggest glow up ever. But BO1 moon, it feels like a different map, in my opinion, when you have PhD over Widow's Wine. Um, yeah, I, I think PhD makes this map unbelievable. With the likes of the Mustang and Sally, you pack a bunch of those. It makes the, the whole of the Biodome experience incredible. Like, I don't know. I just think there's more fun to be had with Black Ops 1 Moon over Black Ups 3 Moon. Plus, you have all the QEDs, uh, different effects on BO1, with BO3 doesn't have that. Uh, there's definitely pros and cons to both, but I think BO1 overall is a better experience on Moon. I don't know about you guys. That's what I would say. Also, I do not have a revive yet. Let me go and get a revive. What the hell am I doing? I can't believe no one said, hey, get, get a revive, Mr. Pizza. Let me grab one. Are we going to get lucky here? Are we going to get lucky with a good excavator? I hope so. I hope so. We can do round three with melees again, I reckon. We'll see. Yeah, we create we create transit on BO1 Moon. And what's more enjoyable than that, right? So, yeah. We're all, we, we, all, we all clearly hated ourselves at the end of Black Ops 1 creating... One of the most frustrating maps of all time. I think it's a bit overhated transit, but it's, I, I get it. I don't think it's the worst map of all time. Very ambitious is uh, a good way of putting it. Lucky I got an insta -culture. Let's make this way easy. Right, I need good RNG here. I need good RNG, and we are on an actual insane run right now. Having that time save on Shang is really, really sealed the deal here, I reckon. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. It's not moving. It ain't moving, Chief. It ain't moving. But I am going to go and get the M14. It should be able to see us through from round four, five, and six, maybe. Round six is the latest that Excavator can set off or a Excavator can set off, set off so. This will keep us safe until round six, I think, and then we can leave. Have I ever lost my passion for playing COD? No. There's such thing as burnout, though, but... I think it... I, I think... When you switch out the average player for a streamer or content creator, it's easier to regenerate that passion, I guess. It's like... Have I ever lost my passion for other hobbies that I have? Absolutely, as many people do. But... I guess your body kind of like allows your passion to regrow and recycle itself if you are being paid money for it and living your life because of that hobby. So I guess the answer would be if I wasn't making money right now and able to earn my whole livelihood off this game, would I still be playing it right now? That's a good question. I don't know. I really don't know. But... I love it because of that, as well as also loving it. So, I don't know. No question, though. Right. Wrong excavator. But, with that being said, it's only round five. So, guaranteed next excavator before 11. That's good. Or before 12, it's guaranteed to either be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, or 11. Um, so, I can save a zombie here. Get step two done. And then save, and just hit the box. Go, go ham on the box, man. Try and get some stuff done um, while that's coming down, and then we can flip a few more rounds. No big deal. We're all good. We got a long time to go, and we're gonna keep on using the M14 for now. And then we'll go and uh, make our way over to step two, and save a zombie, and then flip rounds once that is uh, down in tunnel 11. So pretty good, man. Looking okay. I'm still got a good time here, man. Okay, I do not want that guy to touch me, dude. If he touches me, then we lose revive, and it's just a perk that I really don't want to lose, believe it or not. I want to keep hold of it as long as possible. Considering we have a limited amount of times that we can have a revive, I may as well hold on to it as long as possible. Okay, we got five zombies left. Let's get that down to one, and then we'll go and make our way through. Do step two and then go for mystery box hits. And our mystery box is, I think, I think it's mule kick, but if it's over at the biodome, even better. Way better, actually. I'll just maximize points for this M1911. We're in absolutely no rush because we have to wait for the excavator to go down regardless. And we saved the zombie. Let's freaking go, dude. Good situation room right now. This is good. If I wasn't a content creator, what would I be doing? I'd be um, a music producer or uh, a DJ full time or an MC full time or something along those lines. Probably have a radio show, maybe. That's what I want to do uh, with my life. So, yeah, I'd probably be doing that. But, you know, I became a content creator and I freaking love it. And, you know, when it's time to move on to other things that I want to do in my life, like like have a radio show, like go back to DJing and MCing full time and stuff like that, I will and it'll be freaking great. I'm excited for that. But I'm gonna live out my life as a content creator for now and I'm loving this as well, right? We are gonna bring the wheel back. Yeah, the wheel's gonna come back. It needs to be fixed though at the minute. It's in multiple parts. But I will fix the wheel and it can come back for a nice revival stream. Which I'm sure a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all love spinning the wheels, so it will come back, absolutely. This guy running? Jesus. Sixty seconds for tunnel eleven, so that's good for us. Be able to flip the round in sixty seconds. One, two. Three. Please give me a crawler. Thank you. Okay. This guy's gonna be done. 
We're gonna go and activate the buttons, and then all we've got to do. Oh, there all four done. Perfect, dude. Let's go. Right, we got all those activated. Where is our mystery box? It is Biodome. Hell yeah, dude. Well, I'm gonna wait the 30 seconds for this uh, for this activator to go down and then kill this dude, and then we'll go and hit the mystery box. So simple as that. What did I do at the weekend? I went to a new play place with the kids. They've really enjoyed it. Went for an Indian meal with my wife. And then I uh, watched the football yesterday at the pub. That's good. Three, two, one. Let's go. Right. So hopefully within five rounds now, six rounds, we should have it, man. This is good. Ooh, will mean pizza ever come back? Absolutely. At the minute, I'm a pretty chilled out guy, I reckon. So not yet, but eventually, yeah, for sure. Come on. Come on. This is where we needed some good RNG as well, as well as flipping the rounds too. Oh my god, let's go. Kinda what I wanted right there. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, screw it, man. I've got a lot of points, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get PhD. It did the absolute job for us in the last game, so uh, hopefully it'll be good in this too. And there we freaking go, man. Let's go. Let's go and do the Gersh device step. I should probably... Should probably have one more go just to get a point building weapon for down there, but I'm worried that it might give me QEDs now. Get the money back, man. Get the money back on it. Don't give me QEDs. Oh god, that's not a point building weapon. That's gross. I guess we are still hitting for waves anyway, so. Maybe we just go and do the Gersh by step. It's like unlimited dollar bills, man. But let's get a round flip, I guess, now, and we'll, 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 we'll go. Let's do that. We'll be able to get Jug and then come back, I guess. Should I use the board at the back? Yeah, I still use the board at the back. Sometimes I forget to do it. But traditionally, it'll always be for people that drop a nuke or more. We'll go on the board at the back. I forgot to do it today, to be fair. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Mean Pizza can't come back. <laughs> He'll come back eventually. I just don't know why. <laughs> How much do I make off streams? How much money do I make off streams? My God, you're basically asking for my paycheck. That's what I do every single day. It's, I, dude, I have a, I have a, an, I have a nice life by doing. A live stream every day, okay? That's as much as I'm going into that. I, I, I am, I'm very lucky with my life, you know? You can rapid fire the China Lake if you reload cancel. Are you kidding me? How did I never know this? All right, let's go, let's go with this. Let's, are you being serious? Well, like that, but I'm just doing it wrong. Is that what it is, like that? My god, dude. Hell yeah. Also, I crap nine. Let's freaking go, boy, with a freaking 799 sar inside the chat right now. Thank you very, 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 very much. Saying, how's life? Life's good. Life's good. Life's pretty chill, man. I'm, I'm good right now. So, yeah, I appreciate it, man. Thank you very, very, very much. Let's go. Let's go. Did we, did we move these? We did move these. Right. I'm good. We're good. We're good. All right. We're going to teleport back. We've got that already. And uh, there we go. Where are we? Where the hell are we? Oh, my God. All right. Let's not risk this. Good. Right. We're back in the biodome, baby. We've got to flip rounds. I'm still waiting for the activator to come down. For, for world record slash PB, I've got an hour and 15 minutes to do this thing. I need wave gun and QEDs, baby. Wave gun and QEDs. Whew. Chong's inside of the chat right now. Let's go, brother. Saying, oh, I see you. I see you inside there, Mr. Chong's. Just saying one word and one word only. Just saying the word, lad. I love it. Let's go, Mr. Chong. Also, PhD. 
Jug. Revive. I think it's safe to say that I am playing it. I, I'm playing a very safe game right now. I'm playing a very safe game. Jesus. What is wrong with these weapons, man? This ain't good. Okay, let's go. Surely that's gotta be round flip, right? Is it not a round flip? Is that not round? Okay, no big deal. Come on, QED. QED and wave. QED and wave. QED and wave. QED and wave. Love it. Absolutely love the glow, dude. Love the glow. I have no idea where the final zombie is and why the hell it's so freaking slow. We've actually got perfect mystery bugs. I mean, I didn't think we had it. But the biodome's actually really beneficial on Black Ops 1. Alright, QED and wave, QED and wave. Top three zombie games are Black Ops 1, Black Ops 3, and IW maybe. I mean, they change a lot. It does change a lot. Well, I love Black Ops 1. The big Black Ops 1 fun. Oh, crap. Right, so it's X Ray Pie is gonna be the third X Ray to go down. Uh, but we've been lucky here and got it on round eight, so it's gonna be a it's gonna be an early round X Ray Pie as well. I need to get this box moved before this is uh X Ray though, but we need to save one zombie on this round. Good, right, box is gone, fire cells are active inside of the map right now. We need to save a zombie on this round and do what we just did on the last time. So if we can somehow, let's just, just kill as quickly as possible, save one zombie and then go and hit the mystery box with our remaining time. And hopefully we'll get QEDs and we can do that step. Then we just gotta flip rounds. It is annoying that it's gonna be our third x ray to go down, but I'm not really bothered. With Black Ops 1, the amount of stuff that you need to collect before them, it's no big deal. We've got time, which is great. I think there's loads of zombies left, but it feels all of a sudden it'll just feel empty. Are they finals? I think they might actually be final like five zombies, six zombies, something like that, maybe. There's another one here. Is that it? It's getting close, isn't it? It's a thinned out round. I'm gonna assume that they are pretty pretty close to final zombies right now and we'll go and hit the mystery box. It looks like we might be over at Pyramid, but hopefully we'll be at spawn. Can fire cell box hits be hacked? Yeah, they can. The best thing to do is do your, all your fire cells naturally. Are we at Pyramid? Yeah, we're at Pyramid. The best thing you can do is do all of your fire cell boxes legitimately. And then on your last fire cell box hit, then go come back with the hacker and hack that final hit. And You'll spend 40 points on four hits on the mystery box with uh, with fire cell active, and then you will gain points from the fire cell at the end by hacking it. So you'll gain like a thousand points for free. It's a good play. It was the last time we got a thousand likes. Modern Warfare 3. Yeah, dude. Modern Warfare 3. This Mephistopheles is the hardest boss by solo. Yeah. Dude. Dude! I still need the wave gun though. Still need the wave. Wave gun is still necessary here. Well. Well. It's a shame that I have got the other excavator then, isn't it? <laughs> it's a shame we have the other freaking excavator, dude. <gasps> If we would have had excavator pie, this would have been a sub two. Oh well, it's fine. We are very much, we are, you are very much looking at a huge possibility of world record right now. Got a 
I'll flip three rounds as quickly as possible. Yeah, I need to wait for the activator to go down, though, in 25 seconds. I think this is final zombie. I think we've only got the one. So now we just gotta burn three rounds. Thirty seconds. As soon as that's done, we kill this guy. And I reckon, I reckon, I'm hoping it's not gonna take six rounds for the next activator. That one only took three, three rounds. We'll see. We'll see. Come on. We need Gersh at the end. We're looking good. Pray for Gersh's at the end, man. But we could maybe I'll try and get him QEDs, obviously. If that's possible, holy crap. Let's get it. There we go. Let's wait for the activation noise. Dude, I've had games where it's done it the immediate next round. I doubt it, but we'll see. There you go. Round flip. I just out of sheer whatever. And now just burning rounds. There's nothing for me to do apart from just activate that computer, which takes two minutes. Okay, not yet. Kill zombies as quickly as possible, basically. I'm just gonna let him spawn in. I do I do need Gersh at the end, yeah. I need it for the final step of the Easter. But, dude, like, think about this. My RNG for Mystery Box has been really nice. Terrible Excavator Pie. I mean, the worst Excavator Pie, right? But I decided to set myself up and be safe rather than smashing the box, and it's actually worked out really well. Like, I, I now freaking have three perks that I actually want. I should be able to flip through these rounds relatively good as well. And my weapons are pretty good, too. Um... I mean, they're perf perfect weapons, realistically, aren't they? It's exactly what I would want. There you go, round flip. There's a potential that it'll go down now. There's also a potential in four rounds from now. Do I even stream on YouTube? No, I stream on Twitch as well. But mainly YouTube. If you haven't done already, smash that freaking like button, man. I know that this will be world record if I don't die and I get good Gershes. If you are excited to see that, Smash the like button. We can get 500 likes today. We can definitely get 500 likes today. If you do that for me. Train up. Wave gun. Unfortunately, now, I can't get max ammos. So I've not got any more bullets of traditional weapons left. So my next max ammo, realistically, might be when we finish... The pyramid, maybe. We'll see. But I need to flip rounds until we get exit pie. I could throw another QED, but I don't know if I'm, I'm going to get a max ammo. Obviously, I might get one while I'm doing the uh, the pyramid fill with the death machine. That'd probably be my next time. But I'm not throwing another QED just in case I actually don't get any. You know? <clears throat> I could go and get meal kit to be fair. Yeah, I've got enough money. But you've also got to keep in mind, I do have to have a ridiculous goes on the mystery box, potentially, to get Gersh devices at the end. Crap, I'm still gonna... That's not good. That's really annoying. Okay. I'm gonna come back with the hacker as soon as that excavator pie starts uh, saying it's gonna come down. We'll save a zombie, come back with the hacker, and then we're good. I think Mule kicks the play in it. Just go and grab it. Yeah, we'll go and do that when we go and get the hacker. We'll just try and get it through this round nice and fast. Make sure we definitely save at least one wave gun bullet when we have this. Hey, let's go, dude. Thank you very much for the uh, the follow over on Twitch. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We've not lied to you in about a month, but I am planning on returning soon. Is that final zombie? Nice. Come on. Burn three rounds, man. Burning three rounds. We need X Greater Pie to go down. We're looking at a really good time here. Go on. Do it now. Do it now. Got another ba another round to burn. Another round to burn right now. I need to be cooler. I don't, you don't need to be cold. He's still fine. 
If you if you just save a crawler, you you you're fine with it. It may, it's nicer. Don't get me wrong, it's nicer, but it's not necessary. How's my ammo? I'm running out of ammo quick, man. This might be the round I have to go and get it. Um, I, I could probably see out this round, actually, and then go and get another weapon with Mule Kick. It'd also mean at the end of the Easter egg if I don't want to get rid of a Wonder Weapon. It would actually be, if you've got Mule Kick, theoretically, man, because you're holding three weapons from the Mystery Box, you have higher uh, percentage of chance to get the Gershies, right? That's another thing to look at. Full train. See this round through, man. See this round through. I've only got five bullets left. I think regardless, at the end of this round, regardless of if it is, excavate a pie or not. I think I need to go and get mule kick anyway. Let's go and see. We got this. Go on, go on, do it now, do it now, do it now, do it now. I've got another round to burn. Another round, it's just like wasted time now, but I've still got an hour and four minutes to finish this, and all I need to do is get Gersh at the end. Like, this is a new world record and a new PB as long as I don't die. So, let's go and get Mule Kick. Let's make sure we save here. And burn the round over, the, over there, and then we'll come back with the hacker. Because we can just go through Area 51, right? We'll do that. Makes it easier. Burn through this final round, man. I'm telling you, what? when did it, it excavated round eight, right? Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, yeah. So, next round guaranteed. Next round guaranteed excavator, I think. It's, it's the worst RNG possible again, but it's better than nothing, I guess. We could also go and pack a punch. But no, we're good, we're good. I'm, there's the maxi, I knew it was coming, man. Right, we got a maxi. Let's go. Let's burn through the round as quickly as possible with the ray gun, I guess. Okay. As soon as this round's done, it should excavate for us. This is looking great, man. We've had a really good super run. Still so much time potential, but I will absolutely take another WR here. God, and that annoys me that we've got a fire sale, and I actually can't do anything with it yet. The only thing I should do is get a third weapon that's uh, a box weapon and not a war weapon. And then it's less stuff in the mystery box for later when we go for Gersh device. There you go. A box weapon. Final zombie. Then we've got to head all the way back to spawn. Tell you what, if I can go one more hit here and get like an RPK point building for area 51 while I'm waiting for the excavators coming out. Ooh, gross. Right, round flip, come on. <clears throat> come on. We're in a we're in a great position right now. Oh, the creature is no more. Sad. Where are you at final? I have no idea where final zombie is, but this should be excavated now. I've burnt through enough rounds, dude. Come on. We want to hit Excavator right now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. I got another round to burn. It's literally like wasting time now. They're not that long of rounds though, but it's just annoying as hell, isn't it? Right, let's see, do another round here. It has to do on the next round, dude. I'm telling you, this is unreal. It's gonna be a round 15 excavator. You also have to remember it's three minutes at that point. We need good, good. It's getting to the point where I'm, even though I've got an hour, I'm gonna start getting worried that we need Gersh devices quick to be able to have an easy game here. Pack much Python isn't bad. I won't, I won't really need it because the 90 second death machine, we're gonna be on a high enough round where the 90 second death machine is gonna fill at least two of the vials. And then the wave gun and the ray gun, they're fine. Like, I, I'm not going to pack much at all. I think, I think we're pretty pretty safe, to be honest with you. While we're, while we're doing pyramid fill. Okay, almost done. That's a nice round, actually. Right, that was a really quick round. That was like a minute. Okay, go on. Go on. Go on. Round 15, dude. 
Nice, go, 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 go. We're just gonna chill at Area 51, man, because I've got, I can't do anything until, until, well, until that's activated. So three minutes from now, 140, 1.43, we can go back. 1.43, we can go back. I'm not gonna do anything, man. No pack punches or anything, I don't think. I think we're all good. Yeah, I think we're good. We're basically just staying here for three minutes. There's nothing else for me to do. I, we could thin out the round a bit, to be fair. Go back to spawn and thin out the round. Oh, no, no, I may as well utilize this a bit more. Utilize our situation while we're here. We'll just play like this, man. We've got about two minutes from now. We'll head back. To be fair, I'm actually gonna head back a little bit sooner because if we can save a zombie, then I'm gonna be able to do all the hacks a little bit easier, aren't I? So, yeah, let's uh, let's head back and thin out the round. Head back, thin out the round, save a zombie. We're gonna have to literally stay in tunnel six until it's done anyway. So let's go and do it in tunnel six while we've got uh got our breath, and then we're good. You guys speak all? I can't, man. I got I got four perks already, right? Four perks, it's gonna be impossible to do that. Perfect. This is the start of a running round, remember, as well, so we just gotta thin it out a little bit while we're waiting for this escalator to come down. But we are looking at a brand new world record for Super Run here on Black Ops 1. As long as I see this through and get Gersh devices, and I've got time to spare. This is great. Play carefully now, though. And a maxi as well, man. I hit maxi there, too. Perfect. Perfect and schlag chat. Got a crawler. Perfect while we uh, do everything else. That we need for the, uh, the excavator in a minute. All right, we're looking like it's thinned. Is that thinned now? Is that final? Well, that is final, my friend. So, let's wait for this. Oh, uh, let's wait for this ice to go down them real good. I can return perks if I want with the hacker. Theoretically, I can get rid of a perk. Don't want to. Getting rid of mule kicks is almost impossible. Isn't it? Get rid of this one while I'm here. This is all dipshit fault. I hate Okay, good. Good stuff. Control Let's wait for this. You can show QED at speed and get it for free. I don't know if that works on BO1. I also don't know if it, you can you can do it on BO3 and get an extra perk. I know you can get a free perk. I don't know if it, ex if, it, if it gives you five. I don't know if you can add on to that. Actually, I actually have no idea, but I know I know QEDs don't do that on BO, BO1. We're looking freaking great. I got 56 minutes from now. Okay, let's hack both of these. You may as well raise them both. You know, you get a thousand points for both, right? And an expert pie. Thank you very much, good sir. Let's go. Dude, we're, we're looking freaking great. Oh my god. Thank you. We're looking freaking great. <laughs> The first episode of Gulf War. I think Gulf War needs to be solely Gulf War for a few episodes. But yeah, when we when we start having to mix other games back in, that could be one of them for sure. I've got 17,000 points to hit the mystery box. 
My mystery box has gone to Biodome. I've had multiple hits of the one in the pyramid, so there's not going to be that many more hits on that. Then I've got Moon, which I call it Moon Area or Mule Kick Area, and then you've got Spawn. Hopefully, I'll get Gersh's first hit. That's the dream, right? I think the realistic nature of it is that we're going to hit it a couple of times at the, sp uh, at the pyramid. It's going to move, hopefully, go to spawn, and I get Gersh devices from that spawn area. What was it? I'm going to move this one more time, and then I'm going to go and kill the crawler. Actually, I'll kill him now. Go. 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 Gotta be really, really fluid here getting through. There you go. There you go. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Looking good. Straight through here. Reagan up top to make this way easier. Nice. Let this door be the very, very last second before I open it so we can get no zombie spawns in there. Same with this one. And we are out. Let's go. Perfectly played. Perfectly played. Right, Pyramid Phil. Let's go. We're looking great on time as well. Holy crap. I know, for you. I have to open some doors up. So I'm only on 15k now, but I'll be on like 20k by the end of this fill, maybe more. Whoa, dude, two death machines? Holy crap. I wish that was near the end of the uh, cycle of the other death machine. That done, I think. Is that done? Surely that's done. It, look, it looked full a second ago. Okay, that's now done. Keep this out for safety. Do that. Thank you. Bring Samantha out. Get the four tubes going. I know there's not many zombies left, but it's better than wasting them, I guess. Typically on Black Ops 3, I'd waste them. But I just think this is a better option. Okay, here we go. Let's fail. Oh, there's a decent amount, dude. I, I thought there was a lot less than this. I need to be careful as well, because I'm very, very, very certain that we have a nuke coming up as a drop. Just want to make sure that we don't accidentally nuke. The drop cycle in our head is nuke next. There we go. Let's go. Looking good. You can hack a max ammo, yeah. You can hack any perk. Any any perk that you hack, you get a max ammo. Um, costs 5,000 though. Um, you can hack doors. It takes longer to open them, but it's cheap. Um, hack perks. Actually, really good. Kill that guy. So he's, he's ended up getting some zombie kills for me there and filling these up a little bit. I think this would actually be easier to not have the death machine, but you can't get rid of it on Black Ops 1. I think that's done. I think it would actually be easier to just to run my ray gun. There you go. Speed caller would be good though, wouldn't it? Okay, we're looking great, Jack. Come on. Come on. With speed calling you hack quicker. On specific items, yeah. Not on everything, weirdly. The things for step two you do. The buttons for step two. But I, I, on the mystery button, I don't think so. For doors, I don't think so. I think it's really specific, man. It makes no sense. I think that's filled. I think that's filled. I think we've just got these two to go. 
It'd be hilarious if you could hack a crawler. What, and it gives him legs back or something like that? <laughs> yeah, absolutely wild, dude. We're looking great. Looking great. I need Gersh devices. Chat, you have, if you are a member inside of the chat, you will have Gersh device emojis that you can spam in the chat once we're up to that step, which is soon. If you are not a member, become a member. Get yourself a Gersh device emoji and help us out, man. I need that RNG. We are looking magical. We're about one kill off this and then just the, the back ones to go, which we'll probably use the wave gun to help fill. Okay, that should be done. Like I said, I'm pretty certain there's a nuke coming up. If I'm using the wave gun, it's impossible to get drops anyway. So, it's going to make this a little bit more bearable, I think. We're on a good run right now. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I'm actually stuck, dude. Like, oh, my God. I don't know why the first shot of them, that thing, uh, the wave gun didn't activate there. Do another cycle round here, I guess. And then we'll be done. Just a safer option, innit? Let's run all the way around. I need to be careful about space, man. Right, there, too. right, here we go. Last bit. This should be the final couple of kills. I'm pretty certain that's it. We'll have a look here and just double check. There we go. That is officially it. We've got the sound cue. Ready to switch souls for Samantha. We're going to become Samantha Maxis right now. And it is a shame that I don't have any freaking ammo, dude. Because I could really do. Please land. Oh, no. It floated away. Right. I need to get a good shot here, then. I've got one more. I've got two chances, actually. Let's just chill. Three, two, one. Oh, God. Is it close enough? It was close enough. Good, good. That was close enough. Okay. Is that final? I think we've got one zombie left. Right. Gersh devices. Gersh devices. Gersh devices. Theoretically, yes, I could throw my final QED and try and get them. My camera's turned off. Did y'all not tell me to turn it back on again? Let me pause. I'll pause it while we get our camera back and I get air conditioning back on. Holy crap. I need Gersh's. Let's turn AC on. The air conditioning's coming on now. Just bear with me for a second. It's fine. Dude, this is looking freaking great. Whoo, baby. I need Gersh's. Wow, imagine if... Dude, give me Gersh devices. Holy crap. Okay. It might turn off again. We'll see. You ready? Cool, man. Cool, dude. Right. I do want to throw the final QED and hope for the best. And I will do, but I'm going to move the box first. Gonna move the box first. You never know. We might get lucky and get Gersh's anyway, but let's move. Oh, my God. Do an extra round. And there's that nuke that I was on about. I had to do an extra round. I actually got cornered. Okay, box is gone. Okay. Box is gone. I'm going to throw my final QBD and hope for the best. I'm excited to do it as well. I've not got any... I'm not going to have any drops, unfortunately, unless I use the dragon off. So... I'm just going to go for the throw. See if it gives me a weapon that I can actually use as well. Points. Oh, it's, it's red points as well. I can't even pick them up. There you go. Okay, I am going to try and train and use the dragon off just so I can try and get drops. And max ammo would be unreal. But I'm not risking it just for that. Have we gone here? Are we here or are we over it? Yeah, we are here. Theoretically, I could save a zombie at the end of the round and then use the hacker. Let's do that. Let's take our time here. Let's get one let's get one gun, because I'm running out of ammo with this as well. Holy crap. The Spectre, I guess it's usable. Just. Just about. Okay. Take our time. What's red points? Negative. Takes it off you. <laughs> Already exist on VO1 though. And only able to be got via the QD. I think it might exist on VO2 actually. I don't, I'm 
Not sure. Maybe they don't. Okay, we're gonna save a zombie here. I'm gonna throw as, as many nades as I can to try and get crawlers. And just see this round through, save a zombie. I've had to do this extra round, haven't I? Because I got cornered by a freaking zombie. But it also means... Dude, I did not know that the wave gun can give you infinite speed. Oh my god. Look at that. Holy crap! Dude! Yeah, I never knew that. That's wild. The wave guns have infinite speed glitch the same as certain... Same as the Regal Mark II. That's wild. Wow. That's incredible, actually. It's, it's actually put me into a down-in situation right now, though. Yeah, great. <laughs> My first down as well. Gotta save a zombie. I think that's pretty much it. I think we've only got one zombie left. Is that us? Are we good? We're good. We are good. Let me see. Can I get a revive? Or is he not gonna let me? Because I've got all the other perks. No, it's not gonna let me. Okay, no big deal. Just gotta play it safe. Now, let's go and get the hacker. I think that's my final zombie. I might have two or one, but now we just need Gersh, and we're good. Just do not kill our zombie, and we're fine. Let's go and get the hacker. I need to be really, really, really careful, because I physically cannot get a revive. Theoretically, I could get rid of four of my perks. Let's see. Dude, I, I, I actually don't trust myself. What would I get rid of? Stamina up, double tap. Stamina up. Yeah, dude, I don't trust myself here at all. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy revive. I don't trust it. Oh, can you not get rid of permas? You can't get rid of perma perks. That sucked. Okay. Well, I've got to trust myself and hope that I can do this. We're gonna get rid of one of these. There you go. Oh, another one as well. Right, and now officially have one zombie left. There's probably an astronaut somewhere. I know he's in Tunnel 6, so we're going to go through Tunnel 11 real quick. All right, I need Gersh devices, and then the final step of the Easter egg. We're looking at a huge time save if I don't die here. What a pizza. What up, Tom? Good to see you inside of the chat, man. All right, here we go. Here we... Oh, my God. Oh, dude, why have I got the hacker? I, I went all the way back to get the hacker. And it, it, I forgot that this is fully excavated. Okay, cool. There we go. Okay, Gersh device time. I need the Gersh. I need the Gersh. I need the Gersh. Come on, Gersh device. Ooh. So close, dude. Come on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Oh, oh, baby! Go, go, go. We saved this one. We say I would love to get a crawl. Red, red. Okay, I missed the final combo there. Go on, please. No, okay. Right, go. We got this. Holy crap. Three, one, three. Is that it? Is it just... Is it just 313? I've got a crawler. Holy crap, I've got a crawler there. 3132. 3132. 3132. 3132. 3, 1, 3, 2, 3. 3, 1, 3, 2, 3. 4. Right, first rocket done. Next rocket, go. Oh. Come on. Four, one, one, four. Nice. Four, one, one, four, four. Four, one, one, four, four. Four, one, one, four. Four, 
Four, two, four, one. Four, two, four, one, one. Four, two, four, one, one. Four. Four, two, four, one, one, four. Four, two, four, one, one, four. Four, two, four, one, one, four, one. Four, two, two, four, one, one, one. Four. Two, four, one, one, four. Is it four, one, one? Four, two, four, one, one, four, one, one. Did I just do four? I don't know. Hold on, let's go, dude. Final step of the Easter egg throw the ghost device. Survive. I actually missed the throw. There you go. There we go. And I actually somehow managed to save the crawler. I've done it. Brand new super world record for Black Ops 1, chat. Brand new super world record for Black Ops 1, ladies and gentlemen. Holy crap, that's good. I'm actually quite happy with that time. I know there was, I knew there was a ridiculous amount of time saved to be had, but that ain't bad. There's still a good time saved to be had, but I'm actually pretty happy with that. I don't, I don't, pretty content. Let's freaking go chat. Hell yeah. On my final super run before we start learning traditional maps, we go to Origins Black Ops 3 next, I'm thinking, and we learn it. Holy crap. Brand new BO1 super world record. Let's wait for that to go off. We had a good day. We had a great day at Black Ops 1. Holy crap. Look at this. Look at this. Go on. Go on. You know what you want to do here. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. The Black Ops 1 Super Easter Egg World Record. I only have a knife now. Three, two, one. Boom. Hell yeah, dude. 20214. We've just dropped that time by 38 minutes. Holy crap. That that's pretty dude. Hell yeah, brother! Let's go! 20214. You, you're getting close to a sub two, man. You're getting very close to a sub two. You know what? Then then they're not the best times, man. At all. They, they're still really crummy, but the fact that you've got to get those four things done back to back to back to back, all perfect RNG is wild. And and you know what? It happened. The sub two will happen. In a realistic world, you're looking at the, the, the perfect run of this. You're talking perfect splits of this is Ascension 13, Call of Duty 7, right? Because you're not going to get five. If you if you want to if you want to really say perfect, you're talking 18 minutes for the first two maps. Shangri La, you're talking oh 25 minutes maybe, maybe for Black Ops One to get points and stuff like that. And then Moon, you're talking hot, like 35 minutes. I, maybe, maybe perfect RNG on this whole run could be like an hour or 20. Hour 25, hour 30 maybe, but holy crap, that is unreal. That was unreal. What did we get for Moon right there? That was not bad either. Did we get, what did we get for Moon? We got 52 minutes. 52 minutes for Moon BO1 is hugely respectful. Holy crap. Dude. Dude. I am very happy with that. That's freaking great. Well, tomorrow, it's kind of sad, man. It's kind of sad that I, that's just happened. Oh my god. 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 Oh, my god. oh Sergeant Salt Baby! My boy! My boy! Sergeant freaking Salt. I didn't realize how sore my legs were for my run early until I just stood up and nearly crippled myself and fell over. My boy, Mr. Sergeant Salt! Hundo bomb, you Let's freaking go. legend. <laughs> PB, WR, freaking A, dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Mr. Sergeant Salt. Thank you so, so much. We can update this right now. This is actually one that I knew I was going to get, but I was worried that it, it, with the amount of RNG that would we be able to do this. But let's update our PB sheet right now. Sergeant Salt with that freaking Hundo. 
The revelations poster for today is yours, good sir. It's yours. If you are a member inside the chat right now, feel free to absolutely spam the crap out of Sergeant Salt's face inside of the chat. Tomorrow, chat, let me update this PV sheet. Tomorrow, we're going to go back and start learning Origins Black Ops 3 so we can get our Chronicles time way, way better. That's the play. I, I, I've had so many runs that could be incredible on on uh, Chronicles. And we realistically need to, uh, to to bring it home with a with an incredible Origins run and have a huge time save there. So Chronicles PB will be happening. That'll be the first thing that I'm going to run. I'm going to run Chronicles for like a week. Until I get it once Element I've learned. One, one, Holy crap, we got a 115 coming in as well. Who from? Who from? Oh, Lupin! Lupin! Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude. To you and the whole pizza chat. My boy! Mr. Lupin, he's not. Dude, Lupin's not just freaking. Oh my god. Lupin's not just gifted memberships today. Lupin's freaking come out of here, man. And freaking dropped a 115 inside of here. Taking the top spot. Getting the revelations poster. Make sure that you send Mr. Bailey your information. Thank you very much, freaking A, for that freaking level five right at the end of the live stream. Here we go. Should we update this? Let's update our PB sheet, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Boom. Black Ops 1. There it is. March 4th, 2024. It's our first... It's realistically our first thing from the old things from last year that we've done this year. March 4th, 2024. Nova 6 is 2024. We've got the 2024s there. We've got a lot to fill in over there. Uh, but tomorrow, we start learning to smash that Chronicles time. And to do that, we need to learn Origins Black Ops 3, the brand new strat, and smash that thing. But holy crap. I wasn't expecting a brand new world record on this today. I wasn't really expecting anything on this today. I thought, you know what? We'll run it. Just to see if we can maybe potentially save a little bit of time, but holy crap. 38 minutes. The amount of resets now needed for this is unreal. I, I, I was going to say, like, it's ridiculous. Like, there's so much time save still to be had on here. But the amount of resets needed for that time save is bonkers. Like, I th dude, it's stupid. The only way you're going to get this now and get a, a better time on this is if you run... Ascension and Call of the Dead to be flawless, and then you just roll with it. So basically, you run Ascension and you tr you aim to get that 13 minute time. 13 minute is PB, max PB. There's a lot of times we said, dude, we had a crappy Ascension, but it is what it is. And then Call of the Dead, you run those bat to bat to try and get VR 11 first hit, and then you, you proceed. And you kind of look at those two as a singular map and a singular segment, and you just aim to get that as like a, a sub. Like a like a sub twenty five, realistically. That that's how we're going to approach this next, I think. And then you've got the leeway with Shang with a little bit of RNG on Moon, but even Moon was great. The only problem was our excavator. It could have been like fifteen minutes quicker, maybe. But still, whew, unreal. Thank you very 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 much to Sergeant Sal, Lupin, all you guys that have joined us in the stream today. If you haven't done already, please do go ahead, smash that like button right now. Try and get this thing to 500 likes and I will officially see you tomorrow after that incredible run now in BO1. I'll see you tomorrow for when we're going to be on Origins Black Ops 3. I'm, I'm finishing a little bit earlier today just because I want to finish on a high. And that was free that was a great freaking game. What a day today, man. I've come back with a good attitude. I've been for a run this morning. I've eaten good. And now we freaking get a new world record. Very, very happy. Legendary. I love you all a lot. I hope you enjoyed the day today. And uh, Origins Black Ops 3 tomorrow is what we're going to start learning live on stream. And hopefully smash our time down. Uh, and get like a... Dude, I'm aiming for like a 45. If I can get a 45 consistently... We're living the dream. But hey, thank you very much, chat. I freaking love you all. Enjoy your evening. Keep smashing the like. Come on. And I'll see y'all soon. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. Holy crap, that was good. <laughs>